Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Night Live with Bill Tucci. Behold his mighty hand. Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. I just want to manage expectations. This is the worst. What's up, everybody? Your old pal, Bill Tucci, teen sensation Bill Tucci, who forgot his bell. <laughs> I want to welcome you all to the very first, uh, to our She, well, Thursday Night Live, first of all, with Billy Tucci. And I got a great buddy of mine here with me, Jimmy Pomiati. What's up, bro? How you doing, pal? Hey, good, man. How are you? Congratulations <laughs> on launching your Kickstarter a minute ago. Thank you. Yep, we just launched it. So uh, it's now live. Uh, again, we have... Or we, we launched an Indiegogo last week. Uh, we just crossed a $60,000 threshold. Thank you all so much. The Omnibus will now be expanded from uh, comic book size to the oversize. I'll go grab that because I forgot my damn bell, too. So um, I guess I'm going to go run off camera right now. And go get it cause I'm just gonna... Sure. It's funny because uh, as soon as you launched it, I got an email from Kickstarter. Oh, and, really? Uh, oh, yeah, sweet. let me read it. Let me read all it. Right. It says... Uh, Help bring their new idea to life. Billy Tucci and Crusade Fine Arts Limited just launched a new graphic novel project. We thought it would interest you since you supported their work in the past. Back it now. God bless. All it right. literally was delivered at 702. So All right. that's pretty. Well, that's well, pretty we got your boy Brian Blevins is going to come on. We got uh, Sarah Fortet is going to join us. Dan Jurgens. Dan. Um, you know, who's just, you know, a hero of mine. And uh, Dan's got a lot of cool things going on. But Great I want to say hello to everybody in the chat. Dan Gen uh, Genovese. Uh, say hello to Jimmy Pomiati. Dan Genovese is a great guy, man. How you doing, uh, Dan? Yeah. Uh, oh, look at this, Jimmy. You got a nice stash, Jimmy, from Marcus Kellegrew. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. Thank Good you. Good to see you, Bart Coleman's I mean here. Yeah, past Matt. I like the, that. So we have to talk about it with Debbie because I asked Debbie if I could, you know, what do you th I want to grow a beard. Like, how would I look with a beard, a whole, Jimmy? A whole beard? Like a beard. I, I could do it. I've been cutting it like, you know, I've been trimming it like this. Amanda likes it like a little, uh, you know, she says it makes me look tough or something. I don't know. Yeah, it does. You look like a badass. Well, you, um, you look you look thinner, too, with that beard there, buddy. <laughs> so Debbie says uh, that her uncle had a beard, and it took her. She couldn't, like, kiss him alone. It took her to, like, she was like a teenager just to give him a hug and kiss him because it freaked her out so much. Oh, really? So that, yeah. that's why she doesn't want you to have a beard. I guess so, but I don't know if I can grow one, to be honest with you, because I shaved two days ago, but I think if I let it grow for, like, I don't know, a month? Yeah. I might have a little something, but, hey, we got a lot of cool people in here. Past Masterson, good to see you. Vaughn Coleman saying, what's up, gang? Vaughn's a good guy. I don't know if you've ever met Vaughn, Jimmy. Great kid. Of course, I've met, I've met Vaughn many, many times. Okay, great yeah, guy. He's, yeah, he's a great guy. He's got, that, he's got that... He's got that kid energy to him. Yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> reminds me of me when I was younger, and not before I got before the world broke me down. But uh, Marcus Killigrew, great to see you. Randy Howell is always awesome. Yes, notice it is only a twenty-eight day campaign. That's true because we're going to close it out on Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci in twenty-eight days from now. So, Prater uh, Seven, good to see you too, buddy. Uh, man, it's great to see everybody here. Look at this. You got a uh, American Comics Company. That's a cool name. Hell, AC, also um, Amanda Connor. What oh, it is, AC. Amanda how's Amanda yeah. doing, Jimmy? She's doing good. She's upstairs working. Uh, she's always working. Yeah. Z Comics, good to see you. A nominated T2, a nominate. A, how do you say that, Jimmy? Where, where are you looking? A nominate, a nominate, a nominate T2. Yeah, that's, that's okay. A nominate. A you know, I'm not all nominee. up for that fancy book. One word, one word, a nominee. Nominee, nominee, a nominee. 
Do, do. I'm, 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 I'm drinking. I'm having a glass of wine. Debbie's going to come up and join us. I, I, we'll I, Amanda and I won't be at Heroes Con. Are you at Heroes Con, Billy? Yeah, we're going. I'm going to Heroes. Uh, we're, we're in South Carolina this weekend. We're this, like, show. tomorrow? Like, like you going yeah, tomorrow? tomorrow? Oh, well, Saturday and Sunday. It's called Incredible Con. Oh, never heard of it. It was just a convention before that, but they went... Since Amanda and I go and they renamed it Incredible Con. Of course. It's pretty that's cool. Exactly. That's how and that's how it should be, brother. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll be out we'll be out in that part of the world the week before. Uh, you know. Nice. We um yeah, I I I've done um I don't know if you've done the another in South Carolina. Great con is the South Carolina Comic Con. Rob and Michelle this, Young put it on. It's awesome. This, I, I know them. I it is the first. I think it's the first time I've been in South Carolina. So ever? Yeah. Well, you I think drove so. through there, right? Going to Florida. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but that's not really through. like being there. You know, that's yeah. It's like driving through. It's like it's like saying you've been in New York and when you just your plane just landed uh, you know, in LaGuardia in the uh, Kennedy and then you had to catch another flight, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, really, that's true. Yeah, I got a direct flight. Char Charlotte's not bad at all. Uh, I had a direct flight. Uh I have to go to JFK though. That's where we're going. Is Charlotte. It's in it's in Charlotte. Yeah, the heroes is in Charlotte, and that's a fun. I mean, show. I'm sorry. Hey, no, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. The one we're going to is in Charleston. I'm sorry, South Carolina. Charleston. Oh, Charleston. Yeah. yeah. Now the the heroes. Vaughn Coleman will be at Heroes Con. Good to see you, Vaughn. Bring a cigar. All right, buddy. So old Cap is coming. Mark and Aileen are going to be there. Uh, a lot of people are going. Andy Smith's going to be there. Fraga, you know, Frag Danny Fraga, Dan Fraga. You have your own room, Billy. You have your own room this time at the con. That old cat's crashing with me. <laughs> oh, no Debbie at the show? Nah, no. Debbie's going to see her aunt. Her Debbie's aunt is turning 80 next week. So oh. Debbie's going to Michigan and her mother oh, okay. to, my, to my aunt's uh, 80th birthday party. And hey, I'm going everyone to Everyone wants to know, Billy. Everyone wants to know, how's the air out there? Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I, want, I wanted to save it. It's, it's okay. I want to wait till Sarah joins us, and then I'll show okay. – a picture that uh, Joe Jusco took when he went to the Yankee game. And, um, you know, they're at the game. You know, you go to game early, but they call the game. Yeah. So he snapped yeah. a nice, uh, an unbelievable photo. But I figured okay. I'd wait till Sarah and Debbie are here to show the, the photo that he took. Today's not bad at all, but it's just okay. weird, man. I've been watching the news, and, like, all those wildfires seem to, like, happen at once. I don't know if you saw that. Well, because yeah, because it's dry and Canada's on fire. And, Canada's uh, on fire. Fault. <laughs> it's, it's probably Marsha's fault. No, it's, it's probably... Andy. It's Andy Belanger's fault. That's whose fault it is. Uh, uh, Belanger probably passed out with his with a cigar in his mouth and <laughs> yes, started the fire. Thanks a lot, Andy. Oh shit! Thank um, you, Canada. Uh, yeah, thank you, Canada. Um, all right, so I'm going to go on to the campaign. The campaign is now. We just launched it. So um, let's uh, let's let me do a share here, and uh, thank you guys for for uh, joining. Here we go. So we got a five thousand dollar. Oh shoot! Look at that, Jimmy. Right, twelve. Hey, hey. All right. Thank you, guys, man. I just launched this like five minutes ago. Thank you so much. You know what's cool about Kickstarter, though, and Francisca Polito and I, and I were talking about it. Was uh, let me close this out. Um, was when you launch a Kickstarter. The difference between a Kickstarter and Indiegogo is that when someone bids on the Kickstarter, the dial moves up. Yeah. So you see it. So that's that's really cool. So uh, I like that. So right now we got 25 backers. We're at twenty seven hundred dollars. We're more than halfway to our five thousand dollar goal. Um, that's great. Thank you guys so much. But this is a fun book. I'm going to share the the trailer. I don't know if you want to see the little trailer there, Jimmy. Yeah, let's see it. I haven't seen so it. So now Scala did it, and then he did another one, and then his computer crashed and he lost all his files. So you are you not know. slighted in this. Um, He's but probably a PC guy. Are. But it's Tell it's not intentional. Guy. Hang on, let yeah. me uh, let me share this bad boy. Thanks a lot, Angie. Andy, I say Angie. <laughs> hey, oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Old text? Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. That gets good now. Nice, right? Yeah. I think I gave you my original. Yes, you did. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That, that shows how kind you are. No, nah, yeah. thank you so much for that. I truly appreciate that. I, I didn't want to look at it anymore. I was like, get this thing out of here. <laughs> Thanks. I think Am Amanda gave you hers, too. Yes, she did. You both you both yeah. were wonderful. Come on, go to the damn campaign. Did Jim Lee give you his? Uh, I think he did give it to me. Not Most nice. other people I had to buy it from. Which is fine, but thank you so yeah. much. And if you see all the paper I use, all that Marvel paper, you gave that all to me. <laughs> yeah, thank I you. used to uh, when I was up at Marvel. Every time I left, I take like a stack of paper. Every time I was working up there, that was I figured one day I won't. I'll need paper, and and uh, and you know, and then I probably you could sell Marvel Marvel paper right now. I could probably sell it. Oh my god! Well, you gave me a ton of it like ten years ago. You remember we were at that show, uh, Frank on, on Long Island? Like, yeah, I got some. Yeah, I, I, I think I had it in a FedEx box. For you. Yeah, yeah, you gave me a giant FedEx box. That's good yeah. paper, man. Hey, it's it's it's. How about this? People buy old Marvel paper blank. Really? They buy it. Yeah. When they wow. can find it. That kind and of sucks find because it. I use it. I, I use it all. Damn it. I could have thrown it, threw it up on the eBay. Oh, man. So thank you, guys. We're almost at, at $3,000, uh, 2940. Um, Jimmy, I got this guy here, past Masters in, man. Look at this. Look what he's doing. He's been me. Look, it's not easy being Billy. I've been stuck as Billy since I last think night. I saw Look that me. 80s movie. Wasn't that Return of the Dead or something like that? Or <laughs> a, a, some zombie movie? Oh, geez. Yeah, those were the days, though. Those were the days. The 90s were a lot of fun, too, man. We had a yeah. good time, but you know, and cool. you know, here's a story, Jimmy, about this book, though. And thank you because you were instrumental in in getting introducing me to everybody. You know, I wouldn't have known Jeff Darrow if it weren't for you, and right. and man, so many others, all those big names, you know, Dan Jurgens, yeah. you know, all the all my heroes. And you were just great because you took me and Debbie, you know, kind of like, yeah, hey, come hang out with us because we didn't know anybody, if you remember. Right. And, um, you know, I got to, and then you know, and then I met. You know, I, I I met all the independent people at first, like I met you know um, Bat and Lash and Jackie Estrada, you know yeah. Ron, uh, Robin and Terry Moore, you know Jeff and Vijaya, you know Smith, of course Brian and Fran. But aside from that, that was our circle, you know. And then you're like, ah, come on right. with us. And then we just met Johnny Junior, introduced us to Johnny Ramita Junior, and uh, just it was all downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, it's I, I, you know, and I think you're the same. We're we're both comic fans. Yeah. So when I started working in comics, it's like every time I got to work with somebody, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm going to work with him or I'm going to ink that guy. I'm like, wow, Steve Ditko pays the ink. What, yeah. what happened here? Like, did you ever crazy did, giving me like, that? Did you ever ink Simonson? Well, no, no. Oh. Well, I've only seen him ink himself. I mean, you know, he, he and it, when he's when he was doing books, I think he Klaus inked them one time on a some stuff but he mostly ain't himself well you know okay how about I got, guys, I got guys like steve ditko john uh Bissema, sal Bissema. i got i had a lot of guys that i inked that i i never thought i would lay my hands on their work you know um it's funny because i'm going through a lot of my art and i'm like oh i remember that and i realized i gave a lot of it away too <laughs> yeah you did yeah whatever I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find uh so your your latest kicks your latest campaign 
Hang on. Yeah. So that's the Amanda me, book, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's the Painkiller Jane. Hang oh, on one second. Sorry. I'm going to get the books. I have it. Right oh, oh, you got them. Okay. Yeah, I got them. Okay. Oh, we got somebody popped in here. Oh, look who it is. And one day, one day, I'm going to get a Billy Tucci cover from you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I owe you one. Absolutely. And I'm going to uh, no, we I'm got gonna the. Um... Our, I'm going to work on our project tomorrow. Uh, uh, the one our secret project. We got the. Uh... Uh, hang on, let me go let you go big real quick. Oh, and uh, one second. And and you back there, you you hang on one second. Uh, let me uh, hang on, Jimmy. Go big. So there they are. All right, man. That's a, oh. that's a Joe's in that cover for Casada Painkill Jane. These just came in. I'm going to cover the boobs a little bit. Um, we can't show the boobs, right? Oh, that's Amanda. Is that Amanda's uh, surprise cover? Yes. Look, look, look. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you know, Josh Burns did a cover, a nice cover. And this and campaign, then, uh, is, when did this campaign Jennifer. end? Oh, yeah, Jen? Oh, she looks yeah, beautiful. Jen. Yeah, so we, these, these came in really happy with it. Then Amanda did a a couple of covers, but that's like a Western one she did. I'm covering up. And I uh, have to cover up. I don't have to. Okay, it's just a boob. I mean, it's hard to see on this camera. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like, uh, Anyway, they just came in. We shipped out uh, Patrick and I and Jenny, and we, we shipped out, I think, like uh, maybe like 600 packages in the past couple of days. Nice, nice. So we're, we're exhausted, and I got to go to a con, but then next week we're going to finish everything else. There so. you go, Randy Powell, nip slip. Hey, we got this guy, Liz, uh, Praetor7. I'm, I'm totally here just to see Sarah. Great. He's totally well, not here. You're in luck, buddy, because I got to tell you right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our dear friend, let me stop sharing the screen, Sarah Frazetta. What's Hi, up, honey? Guys. <laughs> hey. Good to see you both looking good, not aging. Oh, it's the wine. Really? That's what not that makes aging. sense, Billy. Yeah, it's all we the red wine. On now. We can't see. Water. Close. What oh, well. Look at all. It sucks. Yeah, I'm already old. I'm not going to go into that. You guys I know switch it. out. I switch out for these glasses. These glasses might be better. I don't know. Maybe, nah. Oh, that's those are so handsome, Jimmy. I love <laughs> it. Oh, I, I like those. <laughs> oh, and those are beautiful covers, Jimmy. Oh, and Jimmy, and but I know we're here, Billy. Congratulations! This is a huge day. Freaking yeah. beautiful hardcover. I, I, you're you're already what? How, what are you to thirty grand already? What did I just see? Well, we hit sixty. Uh, we launched Indiegogo first. Um, oh, so we damn. didn't go the other day and that we're already at 60 with that. And now, uh, we launched in the Kickstarter exclusive today and nice. uh, we were at three grand, but, um, this is Jimmy's book real quick guys. Um, oh, this is the, the update. Let's go. To the yeah. Camera. I mean, it's, it's out the door already. So it's, it's done. You know, see, we Jimmy, did 91,000 on it. 91, oh, I gave you, you, guys are the king, you guys are the Kings of this. So I love coming on and learning from you guys. I remember oh, you're, uh, you're doing. You're not. You're not doing so bad yourself. You're actually on my pull list, so I get all your books. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, you're, you're doing, a, I, I, it's hard to keep up with how many titles you got, though. It's a lot. It's a lot. You know, yeah. you got some. Got some wins. Got some L's. But it's okay. We just keep going. That's the, that's the nature yeah. of it, right? Not everyone's going to be a home run. I, so well, I, I, I think do you guys remember that company, uh, CrossGen. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were in Florida, and they what they did is they launched a, a shitload of uh, books, right? And some of them didn't sell, and they they just would not they would not acknowledge that they weren't selling, and they kept putting them out, and the sales kept getting worse and worse, and eventually they went out of business. Yeah, and the thing with publishing is after a couple of issues, if it's not selling, move on. There's other ideas, there's other things to do. Absolutely, but they, I, I, we watched that company get destroyed, and they had millions of dollars behind them. Because he was so stubborn. Yeah. Well, he That's was a big was, ego. That's a lot. That's a yeah. lot to unpack there. You know, like, what? yeah. <laughs> Who didn't love you? No offense, but you know, right. what's what that? <laughs> well, that's yeah, how he cool. was. Uh, hey, we got Zade Comics. Yeah. What's up, Zade Comics? What's up, Baz? What's up, everybody? Daniel Russell, good to see you. Uh, Jimmy, look, Daniel Russell. Just you see. Just receive yeah, but I've been work. we've Thank been packing you. them all weekend, and they they, they literally. It's funny. We drop them in the mail. Sometimes it's like the next day or the day after people get the books, which is kind of crazy because we use media mail, which um, 
is a lot cheaper to use, but the, the post office sometimes, man, they're on fire sometimes. Yeah. Not like Canada, but you no. know, they're on fire. <laughs> well, speaking of Canada, and My thank God. you, Sarah. Sarah got in touch with me yesterday and she was very concerned about yeah. uh, how was Looks the weather. Like freaking Blade Runner 2049. Holy shit. I'm like, yeah. are you okay? Well, this is insane. It was nuts. So I'm going to share a picture. I got a couple of things I'm going to share. One about some dude. You, Billy, you were smoke. allowed to streak in that smoke, though. You were allowed to go out naked and streak. Yeah, so. and, I, yeah and I, I actually, the so fog. Funny, that, that wouldn't be the first time. But uh, let me share this video. So Sarah asks, how are you? How's the, how was the weather? Are you choking? I'm seeing you were supposed to fly in. Your flight got canceled. But um, uh, no, I just know I canceled the trip. I'm like, I'm not. We already got, we get, you know, hurricanes, we get red tide. I'm like, the last thing I need is to go now, go somewhere and breathe in bad air. When I'll get my bad air soon enough in Florida, Jimmy yeah. knows, yeah. plagues us like hell here at, if, if you're by the water. Well, so it's just always something. But no, well, we're, we're going to so move down there. And I'm, I want to talk uh -oh. to you, girly, about Sarasota because I'm liking what I'm seeing down there. So I mean, it's better than what you guys just went through and everything else that you guys go through. So. <laughs> Yeah, but Come see, down to rest. Florida. Yeah. It's nice. Hot. When they talk about the, the humidity, skiers. well, when we would we were down there, and it was beautiful. The, no humidity, right, Jimmy? Remember, there was no yeah. humidity that week. It was unbelievable. This winter, this winter was really good down yeah. here. I mean, it, it was. It was to, exceptional. I mean, you know, look, it's summer here is rough, but it's rough in New York. You know that. It's the the, the difference true. is it doesn't smell like urine down yeah. here when it's hot. That's oh, you true. Know? <laughs> Dude, oh no, it's, it, what a shame with the city. I mean. It's, it's the whole city smells like piss and pot. It really does. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Except for the nice area. So we were at Central Park South. Debbie and I were in the city about a month ago. And uh, we stayed on 55th between 5th and 6th. And um, mm -hmm. it was, it was uh, beautiful. But there was a cop on every corner. And it was nice. It was the real tourist area, you know, around all the stores and everything like that. But you leave that main midtown area or, or the you know the uh, Central Park West area, um, east area, the south of Central Park, Central Park South on the east side. You leave out of there, it's a shithole. Yeah, I mean, you were at Carnegie Hall, right? You were right down the block. From yeah, Carnegie we were over Hall. there. Yep, and it was beautiful over yeah. there. So that's Yeah, I mean, it's, you're I talking care. about one of the most expensive areas of Manhattan. I mean, yeah. but go down below 14th Street, you know, or, or even – the garden. Even West Side, the West Side is yeah. it's it's a little rough. I mean, it's a yeah, lot of people sleeping on the streets, and that it sucks. You know. Yeah, it sucks. Hey guys, we got someone here whose dad was a, a New York cop, a uh, longtime friend, a uh, fellow New Yorker, and um, the one the, who's who's having a date night with his wife tonight. So I don't know what he's doing here, but I'm happy. Yeah, here, it's but... not a great night if you're watching this stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't, don't, don't be that. streaming this on the date. <laughs> yeah. You know, like looking over her shoulder with your phone, are you? I mean, like you gotta find her. The the one, the only, the co-creator of Bane, amongst other uh, in amazing mainstream comic work, and also uh, killing it himself with his uh, self-publishing, Graham Nolan. What's up, brother? What's up, people? Hey, hey Graham. hi, Graham. Hi, gentlemen, and this beautiful lady. And by beautiful yeah. lady, I mean you, Jimmy. Nice. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's the lighting. It does all the work for me. Yeah. Look at you. you got your little mutton chop going here. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's, it's Fu Manchu, man. Hi, Sarah. We're all saying you know, how cute Jimmy is tonight. Jimmy, you know, you're getting flooded weeks, with love. Two weeks ago, a man is like, you know, how about growing that thing back? And I said, you know, I'm Italian. I can grow that thing in hours, you know. Well, you're and, Italian, uh, of course. But, yeah, yeah, two, but, but two, Jimmy, two I got to tell you. Looking at it though, you're uh, you're. I'm not saying because of the gray, because we all get a little, you know, salt and pepper. Exactly. But your the, your brown is is lighter. Yeah, it, it is. Like you have look, long hair old, growing in there, bro. You used to Billy, I'm hard. old, man. It's you transitioning know? into white, but you know what? Keep the white. You guys look good with the salt and pepper. As a as a young woman, I like it. Like don't oh, really? don't. Yes, right? the men when they dye their hair, I'm like no. It, it looks I, good. Fake. So I saw a guy. I saw like a guy dyeing it in, in the bar. Yeah, there you go. Looks good. <laughs> but I saw a guy dyeing it at the other day, and he did a horrible job. So it looked like his skin was stained. And really? I'm like, why would you do that? Like, what? No. You know, got dye the eyebrow too. Oh, my dog. When we want to look bad. youthful, we use the language. We use the yank language of youth, don't we? Yeah, so the yes, <laughs> so youth, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, why right. you at me, bro? Nothing, nothing. Not, just bro? Me, bro. To talk to you. How's that, Sarah? What if I walk up to you and say, like, why you at me, bro? 
Then I'm like, hip, right? Is that? <laughs> I mean, if you called me bro, I'd be like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I know. But, hey, guys. It's like, I know I have a low voice, voice, but excuse me? <laughs> no, you got a, you got a, a voice like um, that, like, uh, did you, not Janine Turner. What's what's the one from Body Heat? Kathleen oh, Turner. Kathleen Turner. Kathleen, yeah. 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 A, young, a young Kathleen Turner. Yeah. Yes, like way yeah. young. Hey, guys, yeah. we have another special guest on here right now. Someone who, uh, he's a, a comic book hero of mine. A friend of everyone's, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the immortal, Dan Jurgens. What's up, buddy? Hey, hey everyone. Hey, Dan. Hi, Dan. How goes Dan, it? what's happening? Hey, Graham, it's been so long. It's been. It's for, forever. <laughs> we we got to have a steak together, dude. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Seriously, it's been all of two days. Yes. Three or four. Oh, did whatever. you guys see each yeah. other this past weekend, really? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, were I was in Dan's hometown. Yep. Minneapolis. Excellent. Well, speaking of hometown, so Sarah... The, uh, the amazing Sarah and over here asked, texted me yesterday about the weather, and it was crazy. Um, and uh, like, are you okay? The weather's nuts. And I said, well, Joe Jusco, a buddy of ours, was at the Yankee game. And when he was at the Yankee game, they just called it off and kicked everyone out and postponed wow. the game. Oh, wow. But Joe actually just took a photo to show you just how crazy <laughs> it was at Yankee Stadium. Um, he took a photo. Movie. He's like one of the last people in there, and he's like, "I gotta get it." And he's waiting. He said he was waiting for the right shot. So uh, Joe took this picture of Yankee Stadium, and and just look at this. This is nuts. Hang on, no, that's my shark attack. That's come on, later. Boomer, get it up. I know. I'm getting. I'm trying. To get it. There you go. What's up with that? Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a 1970s photo, like a Polaroid. That's, yeah. Right. It's just crazy. <laughs> That's what's, that the, what's that in the sky? What, what is that? That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's yeah, going really? on there. I'm sorry, Sarah. And God forgive me. I oh. that, that is the <laughs> god of uh, me, smoke. What? Billy, oh. that's the god of smoke, and he's quite hung. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I just want to thank everybody for joining us. Phantom Harlock, good to see you. Uh Tark's nine. He's like saying, Oh wow, Dan Jurgens. Look at that pit. That's an awesome Del Keon pit drawing right there, buddy. Yeah, it is. Well, Kevin yeah, I guess. Is song. Oh, please. I don't know what you guys are seeing. So, uh, Billy, what you're saying after you saw that picture, you're like, I'm 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 going to Florida. I'm done. Oh, yeah. I'm like, are you yeah, can get me out of there fast enough? I think he's I think he's halfway to Florida now. He's probably over Charlotte. Joe, Joe's, Joe's, Joe's coming down. <laughs> he's coming down for you, Sarah. <laughs> Swim, and Joe's swimming there. That, so many that, that picture that dude you know uh you know they, they, that's like a meme that goes around all over the place but i got and, and they, they attach it to 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 stories like my daughter sent me a text and she goes did you see this and the story says josh josh allen or buffalo bills fans josh oh, allen's torn bills fans in here joey have him out for 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 six months something like that i'm like are you kidding me she goes well read the article I click it, bam! <laughs> There's Long Dong Silver. <laughs> oh my God! I said Bills fans in here. Like Josh Allen, my my um my guy's a, a Bills fan, so I oh is he? Him. Go, go yeah. Bills! Yeah. yeah, go Bills! Yep. Go Bills! I never hear that, so it's like a, it's like I'm like because I'm always like, why do you pick the worst team? They're not the worst team, but they just the worst. Like they get so far, and then they just I'm like, why are they so disappointing? Right. That's the that's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, grandma yeah, like the Mets. Bowl. My grandpa loved the Mets, and I'm like, they suck, and he yeah. gets so upset. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a Mets fan because I was a Yankee fan. Yeah. I had that conversation with him. I think yeah. I said the same thing. I'm like the Mets, they suck. <laughs> he probably told me to go fuck myself. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Dan Jurgens, great to see you, my friend. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, Good to see everyone. How's everything going with you? What do you got? You got a lot going on as always. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, talk to us, brother. Talk to you. Well, what am I doing? So um, I just got done writing and drawing a story for Captain America 750, which will be out, I don't know, a couple months. Uh, I've been writing Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle with Dynamite, wrapping that up. Um, also writing um, one of the features in Action Comics, which has like three stories in it every month. Uh, and just starting on a couple of new things that are a little too early to announce yet. So nice. And there's, they're coming out in 2024. So we're already into 24 stuff now. Wow. You wrote and drew the cap, uh, number 750? Yeah, yeah, with inks by Brett Breeding. Yes. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. You yeah. and Brett are great. 
Yeah, what's you know, going Dan, on? I with... found a bunch of I found a bunch of pages. I had the Superman Aliens pages that where Kevin Nolan inked you on those. You remember? Oh those? yeah, yeah. Wasn't that awesome? And that was so when we did that. That was just the so when we first pitched it, um, the folks who owned Aliens turned us down because they said, "Oh, Superman isn't big enough." And then we did the death of Superman, and they came back to us and said, "We're ready to do Superman Aliens now." And it's like, "Yeah, I'm sure you are." Uh, so, yeah. and, and we got Kevin because we wanted to go against type a little bit and he just brought that wonderful moodiness to it. Yeah. No, the well, beautiful, I mean, is that even a pages. phrase? Superman's not big enough. It was, yeah, I don't understand that. I mean, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. I mean, like alien is bigger. Well, at the time, time. Yeah. yeah at I the assume time. Batman is now, I guess in their eyes, at least the bat family is, is, is bigger than Superman. Right. Oh, it, I mean, it has been for years. So yeah, in the eyes of DC it. these days, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's more boring than Batman. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I'm just so there's so many. There's 18 Batman books out. Oh yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah. For a guy who's a loner, he's got a damn big family. Yeah, that's well, true. Yeah. That. <laughs> but for a guy who's a loner, he's always standing around asking for help. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. it's like, please let me assemble my Bat Army. Yeah. Go take and there's only one person in Gotham City that doesn't know his identity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. they all know who he is, right? I mean, I guess all those. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, they need to give it a rest. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share my campaign if that's all right, guys. Oh my yeah. God. Hey, let's sell some comics, Billy. Yes. And then Sarah Ann, I want to see what you got going on. All right. Because I'm all right. Totally. Uh, let's see if this is it. Boom. You mean book wise, right, Billy? You just yeah. like what we got going on. I mean, look at that. I'll right. show you what I'm yeah. making for dinner if you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, holy crap, guys. We blew past. I mean, we've, we've, I think I went live a half hour ago and we blew past. You go. Thank you. Wow. Ring the bell. Salute. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank awesome. you so much. Uh, well, so let me go through the campaign real quick. Uh, oh, 72. This is freaking awesome. I can't wait for Debbie's. I don't know what she's doing. I never know what she's do doing down there. Is she cooking dinner? It's no, she cooked dinner already, but I don't okay. know if she's too tired. She's talking a long time with that FedEx guy out, out by yeah, the door. She, yeah. <laughs> well, the joke is monkfish because one time she went out and she was gone for like three hours. And like, where were you? She's like, oh, I went out for monkfish. So now it's she's, you know. Mom, What's the guy's name? Ah. What's the guy's name? Monk monkfish, monkfish, right? Monkfish. It's an animal. <laughs> um, here's the campaign, guys. So, thank you so much for over seven thousand dollars. We truly appreciate it. Here's the campaign. So, uh, this is our eighth Kickstarter. Thank you, guys. We, we've now fulfilled, uh, well, I guess seven of them. <laughs> um, and uh, this is, this is 240 pages, it's comparable to this book. What's that sound? I don't know. Oh, all right. Um, so this is our first omnibus edition. And uh, let's check it out. It's uh, oversized now, so thanks to our Indiegogo partner. So what I do with the Kickstarter mm -hmm. and Indiegogo is I have a strategy, and we call it no fan left behind because I like to do both. Because what we've learned is that there are people that will just always buy on Kickstarter and people that will always buy on Indiegogo. And Graham and I have had this conversation before. So why not? I mean, everyone deserves a little Billy Tucci, right? Yeah. So why not give the peoples what they want? So uh, we, we launched on, on Indiegogo the other day, and now we're doing our Kickstarter. And uh, we got a great list of people, not including these two beautiful men right here, uh, Graham Nolan. Not Graham Nolan, sorry, Graham. You, we didn't know each other then. You were too busy then. No, these guys were busy too. But Jimmy, Jimmy Pamiati and Dan Jurgens, and I think, Dan, Jimmy actually introduced me to you. Oh, really? And, and, okay. Yeah, and you were so nice to us, and I asked you to do a piece for us, and you, you happily complied. And uh, here's Jim Lee's. So what this book is, is that back in 1995 and what was so amazing, and Jimmy, you, re you might remember this, is that I came up with this concept in February of 1995. One year earlier in February of 94, I was flat broke. I had nothing. I was six months behind my rent. Um, I had put everything I had into this comic book called She that had not that wasn't coming out until the end of March. And it was just a crazy time. But I don't know about you guys that, that do, you know, Dan and Jimmy and Graham. But for me to get into comics and to make comics a career, I had no plan B. I didn't even think of it. 
I was in my mid twenties and I'm like, I'm going to do this comic. I'm going to self publish this book and I'm going to make a full color comic. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I had no idea how to do, how to make a comic. I had no idea how to get a comic into comic shops about printing, about color separations. Remember those days, Dan? Oh yeah. (laughs) Color separations, color codes, right? Color codes on, on the, on the paints. Cause we, she number one was hand painted. Yeah. Cutting um, ruby lift. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, yeah. We did. I can show you pages that our our type was on. Now I I I drew the type on the second issue, but the first issue was it was an overlay, like an acetate overlay, with registration marks so it could line up. And I and I glued the word balloons, which I cut out with an exacto knife using a circle template, um, and a rapidograph, and to glue you know to to paste those on over it. Uh, all that stuff I learned in months. And what, what was amazing is that in February, I started reaching out to everybody, including you, Dan, including Jimmy, that I had this book that's coming out in the summer mm-hmm. called Senryaku. And what it is, is that it is the 36 stratagems of the art of war as told to my character, she, as a child by her grandfather, Yoshitora. So we would give, I would give Dan a stratagem. And Dan's was killed with a borrowed sword, I remember. And it, Dan, this amazing illustration, which should be on the campaign. Um, there's Joe and Jimmy's piece right there. One of them, Jimmy, you are like half this book is Jimmy. Wow. Yachty. Yeah. So, yeah. So here's on. Dan's his. So Dan, we found that original art. Oh, uh, great. Yep. We were able to clean it up where we erased, um, was it Brian? I think you sold this to, to, to Brian. Um, and, uh, we got it from heritage. So the art will be, so what we're going to do now with this book is we will show say Dan Jurgen's original color scan of his a black and white art. Um, and then we'll go with the next page. We'll follow up with the full color art. And this is how it was colored by our friends at Top Cow Color. And if you look at the differences between the books is that the first book, and I'll, I'll just stop sharing for a second. The first San Riaco, his dance. Dan, I think you're the, I think you're the centerfold actually. So here's how Dan's uh, piece appeared. I've originally. done that often, to be honest. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for covering Burt, up. Burt Reynolds of comics. <laughs> yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah. So here's, with, with, of course, we'll get to Frank Frazetta, your grandfather, graced us with the cover for it. Um, but so here's how it originally appeared, Dan, is with mm-hmm. your beautiful art. But, you know, back in the day, you know, we had to fit Gary Cohn's original story. So there's all these caption boxes covering 50% of the art. Yeah, with that's scary. New- yeah, thanks, Gary. You know, <laughs> another writer in love with his words, Marty. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but we so Don we McGregor had, could have wrote it. So what's that? Don McGregor could have wrote it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't. Know they, Don could, you wouldn't even see art. Yeah. yeah just, exactly. Exactly. Oh, really, Zach? Oh, Don was a he, he was a big <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, lovely, but yeah, yeah. 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 Got to get it with and Paul Paul Lacey. So. So, hey, so now what we're going to do, though, is that this book, Senryaku, now that it's oversized, will be com- com- comparable to our first omnibus. And if you look at the size, this is the size of the first one, of a, of a standard comic, and then this is the size of the omnibus. So it's oversized now. But what we're going to do, um, Dan, is with the book is that we'll have now we're going to have, say, Gary's story here on okay. this page. Then on the facing page will be Dan Jurgens' bio and then a piece of Dan's art that you sent me. Thank you, Dan, for that. Mm-hmm. And then we flip the page will be Dan's black and white art with no type encumbering it. And then flip it again will be the full color page, full color art. So it's truly, it's more than just an omnibus. It's actually like an artist edition omnibus. Wow. Nice. So, but if we go back to the, to the page, so thank you, Dan. For, for really truly appreciate you you being a part of it. Like I said, you're you're a hero of mine. Well, and, as uh, I but as I told you the other day, when that came out, I was amazed at how many of those things I was seeing at conventions and signing. Yeah. It, it's like all of a sudden, you know how you go to a con and you think you're going to be signing this or whatever, and all mm-hmm. of a sudden these things they were everywhere and they just started coming across the table to sign. It was amazing. Yeah, and, and it, it was a big book. And Jimmy, you remember that? And well, all you guys, were, well, except for Sarah, wasn't born yet. But that summer of, you know, 95, holy crap, 95, 96, that was nuts, man. Oh, yeah. Me and Jimmy were next to each other at San Diego. Remember that? Our booths were next to each other. Yeah, and it was just debauchery. Fun. It was debauchery. And then the, we, the, we, the convention had to talk to us many times yeah. about the noise, <laughs> throwing things. We're not allowed to throw things. We're not allowed to do. They just kept coming over and complaining to us. Yeah. 
And so, you know, and here's the weird thing. We had these things called bomb bags that Jimmy found in the city, and they were bags oh, yeah. that look like and you break it and it swells up and it explodes. It's just it sounds like a like a like you couldn't do that today because it sounds like a gunshot. No. And we just I mean they, they they got they didn't want us drinking at the booth, they didn't yeah. want like all this stuff that makes a con fun. Yeah, they kept Which telling us do. like like parents, they kept coming up, oh, you can't do that. And I'm like, ah. Meanwhile, you got the image guys throwing free comics out into the into the stand, into the aisles, and trading cards and people killing each other. But right. you had Billy's motorcycle. Yeah, you had your board. motorcycle at the booth. Yeah, well, that was '96 when when we did the block party. We did a New York City block party in '96, and uh, I had that because I I had the motorcycle, so that was part of the display. Yeah, and we had us time. event, you know, a Jimmy's com company event, and then Harris Comics with Vampirella, and we we took we bought a whole island. And that was that was a place to go because we had booze and beers for everybody and wine yeah. and stuff. And and uh, my mom was there. My mother says hi, Jimmy. I'll tell <laughs> I talked to her today. So I, she's I not that's, that's when I went to that that year. I went to Danzig, Glenn Danzig's birthday party. Oh, um, oh in man! That, in the hotel room, and that was um, that was something. I'm actually seeing Glenn in a couple of weeks. He's playing in Tampa. Oh, so really? He invited me out. Yeah, he invited me out to hang hang out. So. Yeah. Well, it's good fun. knowing you, Jimmy. <laughs> I could I could drink him under the table. So oh, really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, he works Billy, out. He's he's in shape. What, honey? Billy, yeah. I'm surprised you never. So you want you wanted to go into comics, and that was the only way. But like, you you kind of you remind me like you could have been cast in like the Lost Boys. You had that look, you know. Oh, um yeah. and and like that movie star devil. And you didn't you never like never toyed with that idea to go into the Hollywood scene. No. Well, being Acting. that, you know, I mean, I mean, Dan, you can attest to this and Graham, you know, I, I'm six one, relatively <laughs> svelte, you know, in shape, you know, and I, you know, and I'm, I'm you yeah, know, the, the actors are very short, Billy. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's probably why. I was probably too short, too yeah. tall to be an actor then. You and Tom Cruise are eye to eye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a funny story. So I never thought you could ask Debbie. Debbie's five three, and Debbie always, and she's just like me. And Debbie always, Jimmy, remember Debbie always wore heels, four inch heels. Yes. Always, yes. four or five inch heels. I always, always. noticed that. I My always mother, that. right before yeah, no, <laughs> right before our wedding, my mother said to Debbie, and we've been dating together for 10 years. So and my mother's like, Well, you're like five, six, right? And Debbie's like, five, six. She's like, I'm five, two. She's five, <laughs> so she takes her shoe off and she falls. And my mother had no idea how how short she was. But that's like me too, because I, it's so funny because I, I think I think I'm like six feet tall. <laughs> Your personality is six feet tall, Bill. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 A, a big mouth. So Matthew is just now Matthew's just as tall as me, but he was right. really small. And William too was really small when they were young. But we're all late bloomers. Um and uh William's now five ten, I think. Uh, but Matthew was really small, and I remember Debbie asking him, and Matthew by Matthew was the smallest kid in his entire grade. Um, now he's not, but Debbie asked him, she's like, well, who's the biggest kid? Who's the tallest kid in your class? And Matthew's like, well, there's like, um, you know, there's Sean and then there's Dave and these kids are big kids. And then probably me. Cause he thinks like me, like he thinks he's a lot bigger than he is. <laughs> Aww. So, but that's how it was, man. You know, it's all, uh, that, a lot of confidence go and bullshit and people goes a lot way. Doesn't it? Graham? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blarney, Billy, Blarney. Yes, but yes, but I think it's a Scottish in me from the Sicilian. <laughs> oh, with a little bit of Irish too. So, um, anyway, guys, so we got a lot of fun stuff in this book. We also have, um, uh, you know, Adam Hughes. This is a beautiful piece that Adam had done for someone, a private commission that's never been seen before. So, this is going to be in Adam's uh, bio page. I'd love to make this a cover. I got to yeah, talk to him, see if he can do it. He's so but damn good. He is. Jeff Smith our buddy Jeff. So I was able to pull in. So here I was pulling in like these, these big, these stars of, you know, mainstream stars like Jimmy and like uh, Dan and George Perez and Tex and Casada and Jim Lee and Silvestri. But then I could pull in like Jeff Smith. It was, a, you know, and Jeff's a pal. He's a pal of ours. Um, and, uh, and Jeff did it. So I, Jeff and Terry Moore, I had a lot of the independent guys. So it was kind of a, you know, again, it was, it was a one, it was a one, time it was it was a once in a lifetime moment i feel in comics that i don't think has ever been 
uh, duplicated. Maybe the 9-11 books. Remember after, after September 11th, a lot of pros came together. Yeah. But this was yeah. like, I'm so fortunate that I became friends with so many people that I just asked him and they said yes. Um, one of the people I asked was Del Keown. And he said, absolutely. And I'm still waiting 30 years later for that Del Keown <laughs> piece. But it's I think I'll get it's that. Yeah. And then just go, our buddy Joe. That Hank, this yeah. is in our, in our family room, actually. Debbie loves that. Oh, yeah. You know, I like that, too. I don't know why. Because I, I pose for it. That's why. Oh, yeah. She's got a really cute face. Yeah, really, really got pretty. A cute face. It's all about yeah. the face, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. And then, of course, so here's so Sarah, your grandfather. And, and he, right, Jimmy, how did we, how did Frank Fazetta love us? How did that happen? <laughs> right, that we met. Well, he, you know, <laughs> the first thing he always said to me is, so you, is this restaurant still there in Brooklyn? Is is this place still there? He had a lot of that going. But, you know, Sarah, he told me that story about where he had holes in his shoes and he had no money. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to make it as an illustrator. And he, uh, he was, in, I think at one point he was living out in Long Island. Is that true? Hey. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Yep. He, they went out to Long Island. Yeah. Uh, the he, family. He, yeah. Said he, he said it, uh, he sold a piece of art and he was able to eat and get back home. <laughs> and he was just telling me this crazy story. We had literally said he had like 48 cents. And his oh, shoes yeah. Had, and his, you know, and he was talking about um, showing some samples and everything. And he also told me about how he also, when he sold his paintings and they made the book covers, he would go back and steal them back. Mm -hmm. He would go back. Oh yeah, he—he's he a petty back criminal. In the <laughs> petty <laughs> criminal. <laughs> so wait a minute. So they kept the art back then, even. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but he, but most of it. But he said he went back when everybody was doing something else, opened the drawers and took his stuff, and just walked out with it. Good yeah, sometimes he would do something like he'd get he'd get it back from from like Edgar Rice Burroughs Ace Publishing. And then he would do a copy and send them back the copy and take the original because he's like, this one was better. So, yeah, he, he had a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Whatever he thought was good, he'd get it back one way or another. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> Did he take anyone else's art, like a little Al Williamson art and stuff, James Bama stuff? Did he just kind of mm – -hmm. I mean, he is a silly no, guy. No, that's because a, he only liked game. his own art. Yeah, he wanted his art. He was like, I'm the best. I only want my art. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that, was, that, was, that was his Sicilian, you know, attitude coming out, full display. <laughs> and that is funny yeah. that we liked his own art because we would have yeah. conversations about other artists. Because, you know, you ask him. And right. I went out there and visited them a lot out in uh, Pennsylvania. You want to come say hi? And, and, and well, we'd always bring wine. And, and your grandmother loved the fact that me and Jimmy, we went out there and we would bring wine and cake with us. Hey, Amanda. That's good. Look at this. Hi, Amanda. Look at Amanda. Hello. Hey, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Debbie. How's it going? Hi. There you go. Hey, I'm honey. How are you? Oh, look at <laughs> Me too. That's funny. We well, go it smells good. Look at you. Good. And everybody say hello to Debbie. Say hello. Hey, Deb. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. 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 Cut out of the shower. Oh, yeah. What hair? Great minds think alike, Amanda. My love. I'm imagining you both were in the shower together. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. I knew that was coming. I'm with you, Jimmy. I really I knew it was coming, too. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, here's the one thing that you do like about Florida. The one thing is what it does to your skin, right? You like your skin in Florida. Don't you say you feel younger when you go to Florida? Well, it's not that I feel younger. I look younger you because it's so <laughs> humid there. The wrinkles puff up. <laughs> Where when it's dry, they accentuate. Don't, Debbie's right. When I go to Colorado, I look, I'm like, oh, man, I really need to consider Botox, even though it's poison, whatever. Yeah, we just have to <laughs> oh, <Jackson> point. <laughs> well, I say the same thing about here in the summer, that I look younger in the summer than I do in the winter. Because yeah, the humidity. Because we're right yeah. on the water. Yeah, yeah. Dan, how do you feel? <laughs> What's feel that, Graham? What's a that? Good tan helps too. Yep. Yes. But and, that also yeah. helps add to the wrinkles in the winter. It does. So we have to be careful. There's a fine line with this. With now the wait a minute, Sean Ferris. Come on, disavow, <laughs> Jim. Come I'm, on. I'm just gonna tan us up a little bit here. I'm gonna tan <laughs> us up. About time. A time. Wait, you yeah. know, let me, let me see a little more. Guys, we have a very special oh, guest, man. and uh, Mr. Jurgens. I don't think you've ever had the pleasure. Maybe you have, but this is the one, the only, the master of disaster. The king of the universe. Oh boy. The doctor Jimmy's best there. friend, Brian Blevins. <laughs> oh, okay. Who's muted? <laughs> Who's muted? Boomer? Uh, Brian, you're not letting... you, you muted me when I came in? What's no, up, bro? I didn't mute you, bro. How's it, how's it going, everybody? 
It's going good. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, hey, right. hey, buddy. I've been backstage for like 30 minutes. I know. Well, people are talking, <laughs> dude. We can't interrupt. But, but hey, I got, to, I got to enjoy watching everybody. Yeah. So it's, it's awesome. You know, people would pay big money to go backstage. Come on. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Dan, how I do wanna... you feel about the summer humidity, the summer air on your skin? How does that affect you? Are you, are you a big fan of that as well? I, I seek it out. I just move to wherever it's humid and get the best that I can, you know? Exfoliates the skin. Those are the only skin words I know, like exfoliate. I remember that one. Oh, see? <laughs> that's a that's a good skin word to know. Yeah, and good. it's amazing because Dan, Dan, honey, I don't know if you know, Dan is 87 years old. So yeah. what? <laughs> and you look great now. You look great now. <laughs> Dude, he looks, he looks like he's 40. He's, no, he is, but he looks 45. You're not 87. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I knew he was 87. Fought in Korea against the Nikoms. Stabbed him. Debbie, Why I have a like bridge I'd like to sell you. Joke on me. You're a jerk. Is Dan the oldest one here? Probably. I don't know. Graham, are you the oldest one? Uh, I'm 61. Oh. I'm 63. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. We got a battle. Jimmy? I'm not saying anything. Jimmy? <laughs> I I'm 61. I'll be 62 in August. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're five years older than me, Jimmy. And one day. That's right. Don't you forget it. That's right. Five years and day. That's right. Yep. The 13th and on the 14th. Yep. Okay. That's how we and know. And John, celebrate together. Yeah. Yep. And Johnny Jr. is the 17th. Yep. Oh, yeah. Debbie's the fourth. Yeah. Yep. A lot of Leos. Yep. Right? Yep. A lot of Leos. <laughs> yeah. A lot, it's a lot, well, of, Sarah, a lot of 40s. What's your birthday? What? What's your birthday? I'm a, I'm a I'm a Libra, but it's the, remember the elements, air. I like to get the fire bigger. Or you know, <laughs> uh -oh, Amanda's oh. an and Amanda's an Aries. There is a lot of we fire in here. October, now, is that right? Yes. Yeah. My sister is a Libra, and Libras and Leos like each other. A do lot. they? We do. We oh. love each other. Oh, I yeah. I guess so. Though. It's so funny because I guess I love conflict. <laughs> No, I haven't noticed. Because I think every girl I've met, well, every girl I've won, like, there's been so many. There's been but, enough. No, but. There's been enough. But, but the oh, girls I've dated are Tauruses, Leo, oh, no, and not Scorpios. Good Those aren't good. <laughs> that's like, not good. Who's the meanest women? Who's the meanest girl I could find? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, I'm dead. No. Thanks for <laughs> That's funny. Well, we are a household of three Leos and a Ram. Mm -hmm. So imagine the fireworks that go on in this. Yeah. Room. And Dan, Dan, I don't know. Now Graham is the father of three daughters. Yep. Um, Dan, how about you? What 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 do you add? Two boys. Two boys. All right. So yeah. he's dad. Yeah, dad boy. So yep. here's a funny thing. Boy dad. Not boy dad. dad boy. Right. <laughs> so uh, Amanda, dyslexia. It's okay, Billy. <laughs> so Amanda, when we were we were young and kid, you know, we were kids and stuff. We all first met hanging out, and you first met Debbie, right? And how she was. Did you ever imagine Debbie having two animal boys? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I, I, you know what? I thought that she would have <laughs> girls that were just like her and her sister. That's yeah. what I thought That's that she was, was destined Amanda. We were, we were hoping for girls because yeah, it wanted to see Billy lose his mind as he became teenagers. <laughs> I said that. When, once we found out Matthew was a boy, I said, God just saved our marriage. That's right. Because I was, I was just, not, I wasn't upset. I was bummed, disappointed. No, I'm like, oh. You were friggin' upset. No. I'm like, I Yeah, want, you were. You no. kept, every time no, we I would did. go back. So no, I wasn't once we upset. found out was Matthew having... was a boy, every doctor's appointment after that. Oh, I see. So sure? you figure it's like 20 weeks. So you got another whole 20 weeks of appointments. It's, are you sure it's not a girl? Yeah. <laughs> Deb, Deb, I heard Deb, when you wear stilettos, that's you have boys. See? Oh. When you wear stilettos a lot. See, that's boys. it. I don't know if you knew that. It's science. It's science. 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 No, science. Well, I had when I know we were, we were gonna have William. I had her watching Bullet, every Steve McQueen movie, <laughs> watching the High Chaparral Cowboy TV show. Oh, you make me Clint watch Eastwood. that now. I never saw it before, I know, like you, two months ago. I know you never wanted to watch it. Now I make her watch the High Chaparral every morning. Rawhide. <laughs> Tea and high chaparral. And my favorite, my but my favorite is Have Gun Will Travel. I don't know if you guys watched that oh, show. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Paladin, Paladin, yeah. yeah. What a 1957 to 1963, I think it ran. And it is Richard Boone with that yeah. face, that giant head he had. You know what I mean? But, and you, know, just, you know who wrote most of those first season episodes? Who? Gene Roddenberry. No, sh really? Wow. Really? Wow. Yep. Hmm. And uh, Andrew McLaughlin, uh, Victor McLaughlin's yeah. son. Was the uh, director? Look at you, Graham. Look at me. 
Did you know that? You are, you are a huh? child full of fun facts. <laughs> yeah. But so that's the point. Shit, but... <laughs> so getting back to this, getting back to the fact is that I was, I might have been a little disappointed. I wanted a boy and a girl. I thought that would be nice. Disappointed. Right. And word. and Debbie said, "Are you kidding me?" She goes, "This just saved our marriage thirteen years from now." <laughs> when I was having to sneak yeah. the poor girl out uh, yeah. of the house. Yeah, because I know guys. I know guys. Hey, Debbie, is that a fish bowl you're drinking out of? What what is that? That glass is gigantic. I want a fish bowl. It's a red, it's yeah. a Cabernet glass. It's a yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Deb's hand, it looks huge. Yeah, she's it's got a, a little. I have, I have little she's hand. dainty. That that's half a bottle. Yeah, pretty much. That's half a bottle. So no, don't drink fill it up like to not even a quarter so yeah. it can breathe. Don't, don't, don't so, drink the goldfish. The so, Dan, drink the so Dan Jorgens, I don't know if you know one of my best friends right here, Brian Blevins. Brian I don't, is, I is, I don't is, think is, is a, a partner. Uh, he's a pal. He's a producer for our She Books. Uh, he's he actually put together some art for me today. Thank you, Brian. Now that he does the Photoshop Thank and stuff you. too. And uh, I don't know if you guys have met each other, but say hello. They, you guys are both. How's it going, big fan? Guy. Hey, I'm nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you. So, so just know that the fanboy stuff is it's real. I try to yeah. tone it down sometimes, but it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just now, doesn't. Brian, have you ever met Sarah Ann? I I was on the I was in the chat when she was on with Bill Sienkiewicz, and uh, I asked the question about the sorcery card game, which licensed a bunch of your product. And I actually reached out to them. They sent me they sent me a demo review copy too. So I appreciate that a lot. It's it's oh, a great awesome. it's a it's a very unique game, and I'm very excited about it. And they did yeah. the, they did the artwork uh, justice in the game, so I'm very happy about it. They did, and yeah, thank you for noticing that. Um, we just got our comps, and we're really happy with the with the placement on the cards and everything. So you can really appreciate the art. Um, but yeah, that's they put a lot of heart into that. It's amazing. I mean, he had a lot of experience. The guy that put it together, it's ten years of role playing games and cards, and so he yeah, knew what they, he was doing. Yeah, so I they funded I think over a million dollars. On it did, yeah. it did indeed. Yeah. And they they ended up sending out all the alpha comps to everybody. I got a beta comp because I reached out and I was I was super excited. I'm like, let me do a review on this. I do so many reviews for everything else, but I didn't get a review of this. And and the guy was like, oh yeah, we'll send you one. So he sent me one, and it was uh, I, I could not be I could not be any happier about it. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's great, awesome. Great game. So, so Sarah, Sarah, how did this come about to start doing the Death Dealer comics? Um, I Opus uh, Opus Comics, owned by Lexi Leon, he reached out to us, and he's an independent comic creator. And I think I told you guys this before. I'm having deja vu if I didn't. Maybe I, but I'll, I'll keep it short. But we were in a little bit of a predicament with Frazetta IP because we weren't able to sign exclusive with anyone. And we we had been reaching out to major publishers for years, and we just kept getting you know the, the door closed on us. And they're like, we can't do anything, unfortunately, because of the situation with the family. And we're like, fine, we understand. Then we kept thinking, we'll have to do it independently. We'll have to do it ourselves. And when Lexi reached out and he told us that he was working on something and, and building um, his own publishing arm, and he said he would be willing to work with us on our on our situation, we were like, let's do it. Let's see where it goes. So, um, so yeah, we, we, we've been really happy with it. Um, death dealer. I, I have to say, I think I, I was really happy with the first, uh, personally, the first few issues. And then it kind of started, it's been, it's been a, an interesting journey because it was death dealer was our first title and you guys are the experts here in comics. And it's like, you know, you just have to be, you have to really have, the beginning, the end, um, really solid before you start putting the meat of, with, the, with the story. You have to have that, that vision. That <laughs> you have to know where it's going. And, and now with that, with that known as like a, a viewpoint from an editor, a viewpoint from a storyteller, um, we are wrapping it up at issue 15 and we are going to start something new under the umbrella of Opus with Death Dealer, but we're gonna, we're, like, like Jimmy was saying earlier, we're gonna let it breathe for a little bit because we don't wanna be like Batman where it's just like this bunch of things coming out, all these stories. And um, we, we need to really get tight on how we want the Frazetta verse to be presented. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of people did love it. Uh, per, it doesn't, my, my opinion on it doesn't really, you know, that's not the ultimate opinion, um, but I would have, I would have liked to see it go a little bit more towards the gear of like, I guess, like Lord of the Rings, 
Um, and I, I don't really know what it went towards. There was a, like, it went, it went a lot of places. Jimmy, maybe you can tell me where it went. Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to say in the future, when you do, you do a debt dealer and you, it's going to always stay the title, but do debt dealer, like, uh, you know, uh, the walls of fire, part one, two, and three. So you can read right. one, two, one, two or three times a year. I would right. do it short stories. Nobody really cares anymore in comics that you have issue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because on some point, issue eight, it's tough for people to jump on the book. But if you do it in story arcs and you do the and you do the story shorter than trying to keep pushing and continuing them and relaunch them as miniseries, you then you can have different writers and different artists. You can find yeah. the right person for the right character. And then if somebody's not working out, you only have them for one or two more issues and you don't have to feel any guilt about it either right. because that's what happens yeah. when you do a long series is you get, sometimes you get stuck with somebody that you're not happy with, but you have to kind of hang in there with them and, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, our attention span overall, I mean, it, it would suit a, a mini series. I mean, that's what, right. if you look at analytics of videos and everything else, that's that's yeah. what it says. And and I agree with you, like, personally, that's what I like. Um, and that's that's what we're, so we'll get in real quick. You asked me before what we're, we're really excited about. We're doing um, the Fire and Ice series with Dynamite. And we have Bill Willingham, who's from Fables, writing the series for us. Good, good guy. Um, good yeah. That's a good grab. That's a yeah. good grab right there. Yeah. It's 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 just because I'm not. I, I hate saying this on this on this live stream right now, but I haven't I haven't really been a comic reader in my my life, so it's hard to say like who's who. What style do we want based on my knowledge is 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 pretty hard to to say. But what I did with Bill, we were, you know, going back and forth with all these writers and everything else. And and I'm like, you know, it just has to come organically. I'm a really like faith based person. Um, and so we had been going back and forth with writers for months. Nothing was working out. And my partner, my um, my, my my I hate calling my boyfriend. I'm just gonna call my husband now. My husband Joe. <laughs> We've been together for 14 years. I'm like partner. I don't know what to call you anymore. Joe is like, your husband. Partner. Joe yeah, is your Joe, mate. He's your mate. Well, he's yeah. my mate. And then when I say Joe, sometimes people are like, oh, your partner. And I'm like, no, nah, God. Anyway, oh, you call me? so. <laughs> she calls you plenty of things. What do you call me a knucklehead more than, hey, knucklehead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So with Bill, I, I just watched like three interviews. I had never read Fables before. I didn't know how successful Fables was. Um, I didn't know anything about Fables, but I watched three of his uh, hour long interviews. And I just, I watched him and I said, my grandpa would really like this guy. Like this guy has wit, he's, he's a really dark sense of humor. He's really articulate. I really liked him. And I said, my grandpa would like him. And that's what I based it on. And now the scripts, like seeing these scripts, I'm like, when you know, you know, when people say something, it's really good and you don't have to say, is this good? Are other people going to like it? Right. No, it's just like hits you right in the chest. Like, this is freaking good. Like, I don't even care if anyone else likes it because I freaking love this. Like, th that's the kind of energy now going forward that I want in all projects where I'm like, I don't have to be like, oh, is oh, do we have something? Should we change? No, it just needs to be like, yeah, this is it. This is great. So yeah. that's what we got. That's what the kind of like momentum we have going now with the creative team with dynamite and I think like we're gonna we're gonna get there with opus as well. We just have to it's a, a learning process for me. It's been a year now exactly and it's like I have to I had to kind of step into my my truth and speak up, which is <clears> difficult <throat> for the Libra. Debbie, you know, the people people pleasing Libras were like, no, I don't want to say anything. But it's like, no, you have to say something. Yeah, Be this brave is like the Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, but you just like want to hurt people's feelings. You're like, oh this cover sucks, but that's really awful like, but but you can do it you can criticize in a very gentle way and and just help and build things better and some people are not right for certain things and it, yeah. it's okay it's yeah, all right it's okay. I, I am, yeah. they asked me to write green lantern i'm like nope i can't do it or dr strange i can't because any guy that goes boogly boo and everything's fixed i can't write that you know well, well, so yeah like, you have to know so you well, know you kind of know as a writer you just have to say no to stuff it doesn't work that's, that's but smart to be discerning yeah. yeah well see sarah you have some now you found someone like bill Wil Wil wilmingham and mm -hmm. uh now graham i think you could attest to this and jimmy too that you you like the miniseries type of aspect if i were I you guys if i were you what i would do is i would talk to your publishing partners and i tell you like jimmy said you know say do it death dealer city of fire right yeah, I would do that as a crowdfunded book. 
48 pages. It's two issues. Then you could split it up and you could sell them in comic shops as floppies with two different yeah. covers. But do like a self-contained story because I think it would be huge. You get you pull in your you, you get a Bisley, you get some, you know, you get some Kevich, you get you pull yeah. in all your friends, uh, you know, us, and you get them and you it would be massive, don't you guys think? A, a Frank Rosetta death dealer comes to Indiegogo or Kickstarter or something like that. Yeah, I mean you have to you have to handle huge. it right. It's a lot of nuance, but you can you can definitely do it. I mean mm -hmm. and I and to oh, Sarah's with you guys Sarah, heavily. Sarah, remember we talked years ago yeah. about doing comics and it's just I, I was afraid because the rights were like not def easily defined and yep. I wasn't a lawyer and I, I was like, I don't know, you know, this is, this sounds like it needs to be worked out. You know, you're like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this shit now. Like, well, yeah, that's, I I mean, that, and I, I, well, yeah, yeah, you don't want to get sued. I've been being sued no. for freaking five years now. It's insane. And it doesn't go away. It's like, just, just, then you get that, then you get used to it though. You're like, eh, whatever. I'm just getting sued today. <laughs> What else? What else is new? It. Tax yeah, write off. Yeah, it's fine. Know. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a it's a beast, and I totally get that, Jimmy. It's like, you know, I, I I've had to grow a lot in the last couple of years of, of being having to get acquainted with lawyers to, to really know what's going on. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get together and talk some stuff out because I definitely have some ideas knowing the line now. So. I'm happy to well, share. You've, done it. you've already we, started publishing, so I think a big part yeah. of what was holding you back in the you know a few years ago, I think you've kind of surpassed that hurdle, or you've gotten used to what you 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 you, you know what to expect. Yeah, exactly. The legalities of it, and if you go forward with that, and again, if it's a specific painting, say you know one of one of your grandfather's dare uh, dare uh, death dealer paintings, you could use the aspects in that painting. Or whatever that was from, and then you could build a story around that. I think, um, and uh, but I think to go the crowdfunded way, and to 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 would be. I think it first of all would be a lot less stressful. It's a lot of work, but it's so rewarding, right, guys? I mean, Dan, yeah. I don't know if you've done crowdfunding yet. I have it's not. It, it's a Take ton of work. I I remember when we met Jimmy right five years ago, honey. We went over to Jimmy's house. And remember Except Jimmy and Amanda's we house. Met Jimmy. We no, Jimmy we met Jimmy. We him. met Jimmy five years ago. Like Amanda Jimmy, and I. We only met you five years. Ago. Amanda and I were a thing <laughs> back in the, in the sure 90s. We're not. I don't know if you all know that, but she was hot. So, but no, she's still hot. Anyway, what? But, no, no, I, she's still hot. <laughs> so, but Debbie, we I went over Jimmy's house like five years ago, and this is before he had his office, and he's done how many Kickstarters have you done, Jimmy? Five years ago. Yeah, it's around like, twenty-one. Way he's done twenty-one. Okay. So he's probably a Kickstarter number five. Okay, whatever. And Jimmy, we walked into your studio, your office downstairs, and <laughs> your walls were filled with shipping boxes and supplies yeah. and tape. And I don't think the books got it there yet, but you bought all the stuff. And no, we'll, they were. He was in the middle of packing because he showed us how he did the mini prints because it fit. In oh, to make it comic size. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I, and, but yeah. we were like, oh my god, holy shit, this is a lot of work. And now my house looks like that all the time. Yeah, Kickstarter. <laughs> but Graham got a place. Graham, Graham and Julie got it. They they have an office uh, off site. Yeah. Which, is smart, which we have to do. That's next. Yeah, yeah mine is in the back of a comic shop. I have a. There's a. Comic shop called Emerald City here in uh, Clearwater, and yeah. they gave me a giant office. And yeah, they even have a dock where the the the, the uh, truck backs up. Oh, and that's key. Off. That's key because yeah, like uh, I have to have a lift gate, and they have to bring it down. And if it's raining or snowing, uh, I'm hauling my shit into the building quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's like there's like yeah. twenty there's like twenty young guys and girls that work at the comic shop. So I go, hey guys, can you give me a hand back here? And they all it's you. come running out. Look at Jimmy, oh, a child of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I buy them lunch and stuff like that. There Less you go. lunch, I buy them. I I, I kind of take care of them with books. Yeah, we do that. You know? We yeah. bribe all my so we got the whole wrestling team it's gonna fulfill Zombie Sama. Well, we have to pay them. Though. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they yeah they, yeah, they gotta get paid because they're not comic fans. So here's so funny. So you got wrestlers, Graham. You wrestle. Yeah, yeah, but you're a comics fan and a movie fan. They don't care about that. <laughs> they care about what do they care about? Aside from well, wrestling. I wasn't Video. talking to them. I was talking to their mothers. Oh, See, so I'm smart. I'm like, which one of you have a kid who needs a job? Because yeah. I got work. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. hey, you want some? So all the moms yeah. are like, my kid, get yeah. him out yeah. of the house yeah. now that wrestling's over. <laughs> so we gotta pay them because they're not into getting. I'm like, hey, I'll give you some free comics. Like, no, nah, that's okay. 
I'll take 20 bucks an hour. I'll take 15 an hour. Hey, Billy, I mean, what you do with like, you know, There's a lot of ways to publish now, you know, and, and yeah. uh, Sarah, I mean, you're doing with Dynamite and then you're doing your own books with the other company and you, you, know, yeah. you can do anything. You, there's no, yeah, set, no rules. There's no set yeah. rule, right? You can, you can experiment and, uh, everything's yeah. a learning process you know that it's yeah. that's everything and we yeah it's just an, it's going to keep going that's all i can say like we're gonna and we're gonna continue to have wins and losses that's just again like we said before the nature of the game and but i but everything has to have that enthusiasm like where at least we think it's really good we might be completely wrong but i have to i have to really think it's good otherwise what the hell am i doing that's yeah just, the, that's, the problem that's with monthly is. books the problem with monthly books is you learn after a while a company and, and we, Dan, Graham, we've all been through this, is yeah. that when we work for like Marvel and DC, you sometimes you feel like they just want it out. They don't even care what's in right. it at this point. They need yeah. it. Right. And the problem with that is you can't go back in time and say, oh, get rid of that. Um, so, I, so I've learned I'd rather just put my time into the thing exactly the way I want. And yep. then I don't need to be a monthly. I don't need to be out there monthly. I'm still going to exist yeah. without that. Um, well, I I, I yeah. think, Graham, we've had this conversation. I think it's almost like that European model of publishing with those big, beautiful yeah. books, those self-contained books, hardcover editions even, um, collected it. You know, that's kind of moved over here. Um, and the fans, I think, especially when it comes to crowdfunding, the fans will wait six months to get a book. Because yeah. as long as they know that you are, and, and you can't, Graham, like you said, you keep them updated, you keep them aware, you know, of what's going on. You keep them in the loop mm -hmm. through your updates and stuff like that. And and they appreciate a better product now, I think, because mm -hmm. it's becoming far more selective. Wouldn't you say, Dan, mm -hmm. the industry and, and the books out there and stuff? It, it's becoming far more something. I'm not sure what the something is, mm -hmm. uh, but certainly in terms of the formats and the quality of publications that we're seeing just in terms of how they're put together and the quality of reproduction that's certainly gone up yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah thank you Brent. The paradigm, Brent, the publishing Brent, paradigm has changed you know uh the floppies uh, uh the the periodicals um are no longer have the same sway that they used to uh and now with a higher pr uh, one of the reasons that we, we we stopped distributing to newsstands and stuff was the price point is is it was too cheap and uh, the, the distributors weren't making enough money um so now we've got crowdfunding and we have what we call boutique comics and sarah what you guys are producing you should be focusing on that because yeah. of your grandfather's name you should be producing bo boutique comics and then the release of that boutique becomes an event and that's yeah. where the sales come in you know you've got this high quality book and you make it an event and you make people yeah. want to come to it, you know. Uh, it, it, it's just the way things are right now, and it's it's quite frankly uh, uh, amazing, you know. Yeah. The energy that you draw from those things and from the fan base uh, is, is really incredible, and um, you know, that's that would be what I would suggest. Yeah. Well, Deb, you've said that, right? Yeah. You could yeah, you yeah, refer to us as a boutique I, publisher, right? Well, not yeah. not even just that, but if, if I can elaborate on on what Graham just said. And it kind of goes back to what you said, Sarah, about how when you read something, you get this gut reaction. And when it's good, it's good. And it doesn't matter what other people think. Well, it's kind of the same thing when you're doing crowdfunding, because now you're dealing directly with the end user. There's not a distributor or a retailer that are in your ear. You're mm -hmm. hearing straight from them what they like. And generally, if you have a gut reaction, they're going to have a gut reaction. Right. And you're hearing it firsthand. And mm -hmm. it helps direct you and your your next, you know, uh, foray, if you will, or your next series or your next book or whatever it might be. But it's it's a it's I find it much more energetic, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. You know that yeah. there's so much more yeah, given community, yeah, yeah. Right. and a huge sense of community. Yeah. And and the biggest piece of it, I always say, is the gratitude that you know. Mm. These people know they're feeding us. They yeah. know they're keeping a roof over our head. And by the same yeah. token, we need them to know how much we appreciate them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as a result Absolutely. of that, we want to keep giving them good product so that they'll keep coming back. And they want to keep coming back as mm -hmm. long as they get good product to keep us in business. Yeah. And it's really that simple. 
And and here's the other other side of that is periodical publishing is about trying to please everybody. And you can't do that. Uh, you, you're trying to get to the biggest audience possible. Uh, and so you get a watered down, uh, a, a homogenized product. Um, if you are passionate about something, somebody else is going to be passionate about it. You know, because no man is an island. If you think this is really a great idea, somebody else will. And you don't need to have 50,000 somebody else's. All you need is a couple thousand in this in this publishing uh, line. And then it's true. you can be a huge success. If you can get that 50,000, hey, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it's, but it's, you know, it's, it's tough, right? It's, it's tough because you have the regular comic shops. You know, th there's books coming out that only do 10,000 and 12,000 copies and you make one eighth. Yeah. One tenth yeah, yeah. of what you would make on a normal book. It's it's why for me it's like gets harder and harder with the with the mainstream comics because mm -hmm. I gotta sell five times more books to make one yeah. third of what I'm making on a Kickstarter. Right. Why would I kill myself on that? You yeah, know? well, yeah, COVID was the best thing that happened to us because that really pushed us to doing it. It was crowd. not the best thing that happened. Well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <but> business wise, <laughs> by yeah, but we've had the best two years, three years that we've had yeah, what, in 20. Uh, to clarify what you just said, what happened was we had just started crowdfunding. We were in it less than a year when COVID happened. So we were really able to focus on it. Nah. And um, make it the mainstay of our business, which had COVID not happened and you were still traveling and I was still doing things, maybe that might not have happened. Yeah, and we had we stopped chasing Marvel and DC. Stop, stop chasing DC, throwing in pitches. It gets people like it, and then it just dies. So, whoa, 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 Billy, Billy, uh, during COVID, pencils went down. That's right. And that's another thing. Is that did, remember, Dan? Did your that, pencils go down? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our, right, Dan. You're, you're, uh, uh, Graham, you're 100% right. Jimmy, you didn't. Jimmy's didn't. Graham's didn't. But remember, Marvel and DC both sent out that directive pencils down order. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold up. The comic mm -hmm. shops have closed for two weeks. These multi billion dollar corporations can't pay you for the vast majority of them. I'm sure Amanda was getting her big paycheck I know. there. Oh, I know. I have a super chat. I have a super chat. But before that, real quick, I have so much going on that I want to talk about. Guys, well, why okay. don't you put up the super chat now? Well, why don't I put up this superstar right now before the super chat? Okay. Sorry if you guys hear dogs barking. My name. Oh, we got you. Got to show them your dogs. dogs. Your neighbor's a dog. Yeah. Hang on, uh, down. I don't hear it. ladies and gentlemen. So the, the mad good. Rapper. I do. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not a rapper. I'm going to kill the dog. But this <laughs> Sarah's going to kill, kill the dog. I'm going to don't poison the dog. Don't tell anyone. Kill the dog. <laughs> You're going to kill the dog. Your secret's <laughs> safe. <laughs> <laughs> a little rat poison. No big deal. Come oh. here, Bruce. Say hello. Bruce. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Come here. Shepherds. Yes, they're good. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, Dan. Oh. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just let me put. Don't cry. Just oh, come on. Look at that pretty dog. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, he's, a, he's, he's an Instagram TT's, superstar. TT's, TT's better. Hold on, TT. You come up here. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he's he's so Sarah, how do you appear little? How do you, oh, look how beautiful. Oh, so this is TT. He's very wolfy. Very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Real Theo, wolf. look at everyone. Look. Oh, you're so look at the screen. Gorgeous. Oh, oh what a beautiful boy. Very wolfy. <laughs> Tell them to go get that dog next here. door. <laughs> I, they will. That's the problem. They really want to right now. Here, you, go, you know what, guys? Go have fun. <laughs> These dogs are gorgeous. Hey. Like All right. Hey, guys, we got a special guest right here. I removed Sarah Ann. Sorry, Sarah. Here you go. Back. Guys, back. we got a friend who popped in, but we I want to get on this about uh, self-publishing and, and, and going into – um, all right, put it. He's a, this guy's a master. And he's a so bad. Put him in. Well, I can introduce him. So introduce him. The build up. <laughs> Why do you hate me? No. All right. <laughs> Look at Amanda laugh. Like, I've seen this before. <laughs> Guys, the you one, the only, Mr. Yeah. Dan Fragaboom. What's up, bro? Hey, Dan. What is up? How are you? Good to see Paper Films represent. Uh, Paper films Mr. Represent. Jurgens, pleasure, pleasure. Uh, you, you and I worked together one time. A long time ago, Bad Rock Spider Man. Oh, that's right. That's right. Very yeah. long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Big, double uh, digits of decades. Professor. 
Yeah. Man, yeah. so old Rob Liefeld pulled that off. I had Bad Rock and Spider-Man yeah. crossover. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good time, man. Now, who did what on that book? Oh, what do you it. mean? Yeah, well, he wrote it. What? You, you guys collaborated. Who did he, what? He, uh, Dan wrote it. I penciled uh, one half. Marat Michaels penciled the other. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, what was that? 1997 or something? Oh, around something then, like yeah. That. yeah. Sounds right. Sounds long right. Long time ago. Yeah. Hello, Sarah. Good to see you again. It's been Hi, a while. Hi, Dan. Good to see you. Yeah. Really. I good. like you. Didn't that this screw out quite no, a bit? No, I've got no? I've got that and neck tattoos and you know okay. the business. Wow, Fraga crazy. has not. Yeah. You have not gotten a haircut or shaved, right? I haven't had a haircut or shaved in since Thanksgiving. Yeah. Dang, bro. Okay. I'm waiting. Wow. The yeah. day after yeah. Heroes, though. Right. What's that? What? And you're doing a year of t-shirts. A year of T-shirts, yeah, without repeating a single one, because I have five tubs of T-shirts. Yeah, I totally could do that. I think all of us can. My, do that. Yeah, because my wife is like, "You got to get rid of these." I'm like, "Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually monetize them, because I'm gonna sell them at the end of the year." You know, nice. that's yeah, a great Not, idea. Never washed. Hey, no, I don't know about that. That kind of business. Hey guys, right. we got we, we got a, a five dollar super chat right here. Thank you so much, Brett. Back she on IGG you, on launch day. Thank you, bro. Jimmy and Amanda got my painkiller, Jane, today. Great job, as always. Thank What's you. next? Uh, next is a thing called Trigger Girl. I, was awesome. book. Ooh, I did a while ago with Phil Noto uh, back in, in the past. And oh, uh, and we did a new book, not with Phil this time. Phil's under exclusive with uh, Marvel, so I couldn't get Phil. Mm -hmm. But with Juan Santa Cruz is, is doing it. And I got some uh, beautiful covers and artwork by Amanda in it. And uh, it's... it's I don't launch anything until all the books are shipped, so I have to wait another week or two to, to get all the books out, and then we launch that in a couple of weeks. Now, now, Dan, have you thought about this? Uh, you hear us all with, talking crowdfunding and things like that. Have you considered that? I mean, I know you're, I don't know when you sleep or how busy you are. I, I have, and it's, it's something that um, I've got to give a little more serious consideration to, and part of it is I'm always like two years out. And then I say, okay, when I get to the end of that two years and then you roll something else into it. So it's two years and six months out and then you just keep putting it off. But at some point, yes, I absolutely have to commit. Awesome. Mm. Excellent. Awesome. We got another super chat right here from Eric De Guapo. Such a great panel. Hello to all, but this chat is for Dan, not <laughs> Fraga. I love your <laughs> Superman work. Oh, yeah. That Thank was you. A, Thank those you. are the T-Bear days, right? R.T. Bear slapping yeah. inks down on those. Yeah. What? Where's R.T. Yeah. RT Bear's in the chat? No, R.T. Bear inked Dan on Superman. Yeah. Yeah. When did that's, R.T. That's where I, I, love I, discovered, that I love the two of you. I, that's where that I discovered great. both of their work. First time yeah. I saw their work was uh, was on Superman. R.T. left. Fan. Yeah. Art left just like a year before the death of stuff because he wanted to go do X-Books. So... Wow. Yeah, um, he did okay. That's when that's when Brett Breeding came in. He did decent. He did yeah. all right. Yeah. So, have you talked to Dan? That Dan left a year before Death of Superman. Have you ever? Uh, sorry, um, Art, Art. Have you ever talked to Art about? Man, Art, you could have inked that book. Well, you know, going and doing the <laughs> X stuff at that time would have been okay too. So, yeah, everybody won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I loved I loved all your uh, remarks on the Clan McDonald stuff. The the foily. The Foily uh, Superman. Oh, you saw those. Thank you. Yeah, Thank they're you. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I won't I won't ever own one. Well, the, the problem yeah. is the problem is drawing anything on those foil covers is a real bitch. I mean, that is just oh, yeah. awful. There's not much that works. And and then if you just so much as touch it, you it's leave like permanent fingerprint. So it, it takes a lot. We'll just talk it. It is it's the worst. The the, the those covers and the and the glossy covers, yeah, the the ones that they they were putting out a few years ago, and they're like ultra slick, and they, oh, they yeah. the consistency of wax paper, and I'm nothing give, sticks to them. Yeah, the word to the wise that I give anybody is if you see an original Gen 13, don't even say yes to it. Like the old school Gen 13s from the 90s when Jim did yeah. like 13 covers, and one of them was blank. Yeah, oh, the series two. Oh. Yeah, I got one of those, and every I, it took twenty minutes for it to dry. Yeah, like with oh, a, yeah. just a regular pen, and I just remember like just trying to keep all my fingers up, and yeah, yeah that one is spirit. notorious. If I see it, I instantly say no. You like <laughs> yeah. rip them up. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did <laughs> discover that, 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 that um, uh, Sharpie extreme fade resistance um the, the the sharpies but they're they're not regular sharpies they're they're extreme fade resistant they will stick to those covers better than any oh. of the other pens oh, so those so. And, and black statler markers are I'm the writing only this ones down why am i yeah write it down yeah the extreme yeah. i know Amanda always <laughs> has the best markers she always gives us we always, she always gives us markers and her markers always... are the most organized of anyone i have ever seen yeah. she's <laughs> yeah, like her office little zip up pouches for yeah, them yeah. and they're all standing straight up yeah i, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen amanda at a, at a con but then she has these little blocks with little wires sticking up with clips and you put your little all your little signs on it and stuff like that. You like everything. You use those in some I love those things. Yeah. Oh, you have to use I'm like a disaster area. And I no, because the one she has is hey Jimmy, stop shaking the table. That's the one that I have to look at on my the back of the sign says that. Hey Jimmy, stop shaking the table. Stop jiggling the table. Yeah. Hey guys, I gotta tap out. I gotta get back oh, to quick. date night. All right, I, yes. I was have here for you, Billy. I just wanted to yeah. say, you know, sell a ton of sh shit ton of books. Well, isn't that um, I hope yeah. you have a there's great a, launch. Yeah. Thank you so much. But real quick, Graham, this, uh, there's, a chat for you. there's a chat for you. This one's for Graham. All right. You owe me five Billy. Eric the Guapo. I don't know where the chat is, but we'll find it. And uh, I don't think he, I don't think he put one. I think oh, Eric the Guapo. Hang on. Where is it? I think oh, hey, uh, he's saying, hey, Dan. Yeah, see? Graham, thank you for the advice, too. I appreciate that. Oh, it's so nice meeting you, Sarah. Yeah, yeah so nice meeting you. Well, I, you guys uh, definitely inspired me tonight. I'm like, oh, okay. Very I see cool. dollar signs. <laughs> hey, guys. Dan, 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 Jimmy, Amanda, yep. Brian. Good to see you, Cap. Awesome seeing you guys. Take care. I guess it'll be right, like man. another two days now. <laughs> man, well, I hope I hope <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Good night, bro. Good night, guys. Bye, Graham. Uh, guys, we just have a chat right now from uh, from Mark, uh, Mr. Zutkoff. Thank you so much for for uh, Deborah. I pledge for this on the bus. Thank you. But I also wanted to get the Sakura hardcover because my Sakura Fire Jewel is losing its jewels. Mark, I want you. And to I'm afraid that. to touch it, but no. Kickstarter doesn't seem to want to help me. No, we. I think we had a problem with weather. I'm gonna get another. Uh, uh, so. Real quick about our jewel editions. We send you get in front, then you take it off. All right, hold on now. I have to move. Sorry. So we had a problem this go for the Sakura jewel editions that we never had before. Um, the process is we print the books, we send them out to um, I think she's in Ar she's in Arizona, I believe. She jewel we have a professional jeweler attach Swarovski crystals to the cover and she sends them back. Um, we did have an issue with a few of them losing their jewels. And all I can think of is there was a cold spell during the shipping time. Um, but I would like you to send it back to me and I will send it back to her and we will have the jewels reaffixed. Um, if there is a problem and it does not look good, then I will have the entire book number, that number book reprinted. Um, so there is still only one of them, and you'll have the same number that you have, and we will have that one rejeweled. No one but, likes losing their jewels, especially nobody if like does. family jewels or like family you jewels. know, or their you know. Swarovski jewels. Yeah. So um, if you would like to pick up the the Sakura hardcover, that's great, but don't feel that you have to. Um, I would like to, like I said, make make it right on that fire the um, Firewalk Jewel Edition. So um, if you want to email me directly for us to work it out, uh, it is Deb Tucci at optonline.net and we could chat about it and get it all taken care of. So uh, I'm sorry for that. And, uh, and I'm not sure about the rest of this that the Kickstarter doesn't want you to pledge for it. Um, Oh, maybe because it's not an add-on. Maybe it wasn't added in. I can add that as an add-on, Mark. So we'll chat after this presentation, and we'll get you all set up. No worries. Uh, and I don't know how to get rid of this. You just click on a. You click on it, uh, or click another comment and click that comment off again. So yeah, just there, there you go, go. Yeah, and then click it again. Look at me learning stuff. We love, we love Sarah. 
Yeah, we did. You want to move over real quick? Oh, so I'm yeah. here. I'm I, think, I think her dog's I'm attacked. The dog's next door. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably better off. It's, 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 it's a bloodbath. <laughs> I was spraying myself with mosquito spray because I'm on my porch, and I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm like looking at them, like the hell they're like attacking. And where are they coming from? It's I have not, a zapper. It, I heard you see flight those zappers? of the Valkyries playing. What? Oh, the flight of the Valkyries. I heard that playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, your dogs are beautiful. Um, I'm gonna revisit the campaign because I'd like it's to get back to. Um, if I can, yeah. um, if if you guys don't mind me sharing it. And Let's I want to get into the story. Billy, how... We're here for you, Billy. What? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's your show. My black teeth look like <laughs> teeth. Black. That's a wino. wino Are they teeth. purple? Every, They're purple teeth. Drinks yeah. red wine, his teeth turn black. My teeth turn black. Oh, oh well. I'm a good time. It's like uh, we could tell if you're counterfeit or not. If if it turns black, you're good to go. <laughs> That's true, bro. Oh shit! Hey, oh, 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 thank you guys. And our first. Thank you. Where's my bell? It is on Billy. There you go. Uh, yeah, this is an expensive book. <laughs> um, I'm going to play the video. I don't know if, Amanda, if you've seen the video yet. Um, and uh, and I want to go over the things. And uh, if you guys don't mind, uh, let me play it. Put together by Niall Scala. Where is Niall Scala? He's uh, a great guy. Ray Lago. It's Debbie. So thank you guys. Um, uh, full disclosure, Amanda, your beautiful piece is in there with your black and white art, uh, the original art, which I own. And That's thank right. you so much for that. It's hanging amongst all the other arts. Dan, yours and Jimmy's art is not there because you were, uh, Dan, I couldn't find your black and white art. And, and, and we found it though. Right. Um, which thank uh, through Heritage Auctions. And Jimmy, yours too. I had the color, I had the black and white, but there was no color art for it. So, and again, you guys are, you, I, I just adore you guys. Um, uh, I, I'm just, it's a, it's a privilege to be friends with you. Uh, I've admired your work for so long. And uh, I just, please hope you don't think that, uh, that I slighted you in any way, but we, we only had the art that we went with. And I did have Amanda's, because uh, Amanda, I had Amanda's original and black and white. And she's great. Almost. Well, Brian Miller yeah. had to finish Jimmy's art, Nelson's art, no, uh, a couple of others. Okay. Yeah. Almost done. Done next week or so. The printer is huh. pumping at the bay. Yeah. The pr oh, look at this. Hey, we, we moved up even more. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Well, we're just so proud of this campaign. And Sarah, here's the thing for you is that, Jimmy, how did this even happen? That Frank Frazetta loved us, that he became friends with us. 
Um, we <laughs> met, I met Frank at, at uh, San Diego Comic Con in '95, and then I don't know something happened. He gave your your grandmother was there and gave me your phone number, and said, "Come on over." And they lived in Pennsylvania, and. Uh, well, shit, we went out there. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going out there. And we brought him. I remember the first time I came over, I brought a bottle of wine and a cake. You said that already. I know. But, well, this you've been streaming for two hours, honey. There's new people. The first time I met him, was, I, exactly. I, was up, I was up at the museum. And uh, your grandmother uh, was talking to me. And she said, you know, my husband's been down a little bit. Lately, could, could you come to the house, maybe cheer him up? I think he'd enjoy your company. So I went over with her to the house, and that's I hung out, you know, for the day. He gave me high C, he opened a can of high C. <laughs> and with the, we, had, we had to use the um, the can opener on both sides. He, had to, key, and he gave me high C, and he showed me his workout room. And then he walked me through the because in the bedroom they had the uh, the yeah. Adam and Eve watercolors around the whole ceiling mm -hmm, in the bedroom. I remember you know, that. He, just, he gave me a tour of the house and then he says, but let's go to the stickball court outside because he said, you're a kid from Brooklyn. You know how to play stickball. And that, that's, that's, we went outside and he was showing me a stickball court, which was just the wall by the garage had the stickball uh, <laughs> thing on it. But anyway, and then he, later on, he showed me how to ink, uh, how to ink hair. He grabbed some that's paper. That's so cool. And yeah, he really then, liked uh, you, Jimmy. He went yeah, we, so many, I was you there. and Billy both. And then we were there all day. Yeah, we were there all day. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he, it was another kid from Brooklyn. That's what, like he was obsessed about what restaurants were still in Brooklyn. Like, yeah. Yeah. He was, he wanted to know all that. Not yet. A great guy. And, you know, it was like meeting a, 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 the closest thing I could say, like to a superhero or a, a movie star. You know, it was. He, was, he was the movie star yeah. for me when I met him. Yeah. And then Eddie was nice. That was like extra, you know. Yep. Like a uh, like super. Yeah, because nice. they say never meet your heroes, but but he was the exception. To yeah. That. He well, was, he, I don't he, think to everyone. It was to people that he liked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe some guy, some guy tried to talk. Yeah. Well, some guy tried to talk. Some guy was telling me not too long ago that he uh, went out to Boca, probably around the same time, like '95, and went to go have a conversation about my grandpa, and he really wanted to talk to my grandpa about art. My grandpa was eating crab claws and just wouldn't stop talking about crab claws and how like intricate the design was from God. And he was just like holding them up the whole time. And the guy was so frustrated. He's like, Frank Frazetta talking about crab claws. He's like, I was trying to get him to talk about art, technique. And he wouldn't talk, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even give me a minute of that. I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. wow. But yeah, how great would it be that video to have of him talking about crabs? I, mean, I would have I I I listened, I would have listened to him talk about crab clause because you're actually witnessing his uh his observation process, process. exactly right. it's actually, exactly if Amanda, he would have, if he would have known right if he would have known as an i would have been that like that's where deeper. the heart is that's yeah. where the heart yeah. is is the thought process not i use this gouache or i use this right. oil or which, who cares i want to know right. how you think that guy missed yeah, his no, opportunity holy crap i think he i did. know who that was that was complaining i'm not going to say <laughs> but i think i know who it was <laughs> That's funny. Guys, yeah. I gotta go get some work done. I'm so sorry. Uh, is, okay. We're gonna I wrap it up soon. So many faces. Love you, my to see you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting okay. attacked by giant right. mosquitoes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna room. close it up. We've been going for an, an hour and 45 minutes. And, yeah, that's uh, funny. Yeah. No, and I want to say, uh, Jimmy and Amanda, looking forward to seeing you. We have our comic book couples. Uh, happy hour with the comic book couples at San Diego again. What should so, I bring? Yeah, so it's uh, it's me. me, Debbie, Jimmy, Amanda, Brian, Polito, and Fran, and Jeff Smith is going to moderate it. So oh, it's nice. happy hour. Wait, you so guys I'm... are all going to San Diego? Yep. Yeah. We're going to, or, yeah. I, will, I will be there this year. We oh, sure. I what? might be there. Might be there. Yeah. Okay. Let's Dan, all get together for, for you, sure. Uh, Mr. Jurgens, any plans for you? You going to San Diego, out San Diego way? Yes, I will be there. Excellent. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll meet you. In, I want to come meet you in now. person. Okay. Sounds well, good. Well, Sarah, you have to come to our panel. Oh, I'll be there. We have lots of there. 
I and we buy yes, uh, with, with complicated around. questions with yeah, like Debbie, terrible, horrible yeah. questions. <laughs> terrible questions. No, the more interesting, the better. Last time it was terrible answers, but really good questions. Yeah. No, we have to. This I'm going to really come with the worst yeah. questions for you yes. guys. I'm going to really put. I'm going to make it. Yeah. We make yeah, it entertaining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, guys, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you all for joining us. But I want to say this that Sarah, that I, I, it's amazing that a year before I conceived of this book, I was dirt poor. I was six months behind in my rent. I, it was a month before she number one came out. And I, I remember thinking when I started putting this book together where I was a year before, and now I'm hanging out with Dan Jurgens and Jimmy Pomiati and Amanda, hey, you know, and, yeah. and, and became friends with your grandfather and all this happened in a year. And it's it, the thing is that this book is, it, it's such a, a, a time capsule of, of positivity and just, that you you could do anything at that time, and this is a book. I think I think we lost the Eisner uh, for um, best collected edition, which is okay because it's just it's just good to be nominated. Um, but uh, it, it was amazing, and it's I want to. It's an honor, nominated. yes. And I want to thank you guys for contributing. Uh, you know, Dan and Jimmy and Amanda, that you guys, you know, all great friends. And Jimmy, thank you for introducing me to Dan and so many other people. And this art right here, I I, I know I want I, I see it. I, I will leave no super chat behind. I will not. Um, but this piece right here, this is Frank's original painting. Um, and uh, but he did it with your cousin's watercolor set because I remember going out there to pick it up because he wouldn't send Mickey it Mouse so watercolor set. Yeah, so yep. I had to drive yep. out there to get it. And I'm like, oh, Frank. I'm like, it's a little phase. Like, oh, that's my granddaughter's watercolor set. I love painting with that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's gonna fade, but okay, okay, whatever, but, Frank. <laughs> yeah, so this has never been yeah. seen. That art has never been published or seen. So that that art will be in it too. Wow. And it's just so gonna be cool. a lot of fun involved in it. But let me read a super chat real quick and we'll head out. Amanda, love you. If you got a jet, we will see you soon. We'll see you in a month and a half, I guess. Yes. 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 About a month, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a month and a half. A little, yeah, yeah, like about a month. 20th. Around the yeah, about a month. Well, we all have to go. We all we have, have to, a lot of work. We have do. a lot of work to do. I know, but we <laughs> got to find a place that we, we, all of us, Dan, Jimmy, Amanda, Sarah, and we got to get together and we all did. We have to have a drink somewhere. Sounds good. Oh, we're we're I definitely mean, doing it. I'm holding yeah. you guys all to it. I'll find yeah. you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, please do. Sarah just come to dinner after the Wednesday night. Yeah, after the panel, like we did. After that. the panel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, third. Yes, Sarah. Sarah right. Yeah, we tell did the, We did the back. Room Are you doing? At, uh, what the hell's the name of the restaurant? What? Oh, Roy's by Royce. the by the, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we did the back room at Roy's, so we'll see oh, if we can get the back yeah, room. Yeah, you and Joe. Was, great. Yeah, you was, was, right. was a great night, wasn't it, yeah. Amanda? I was great. Yeah, yeah I'd really nice. I'd love to come. We so we'll that definitely that arrange right that. Afterwards. It was like almost like an oasis of fun amidst all the craziness. Yeah, it, was it was really nice. nice. Bombed. We were shit faced <laughs> at the panel. We were shit faced. <laughs> yeah, we were shit faced. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, Randy Howell, thank you for the Canadian five dollars and fifty cents. Put up Fraga's campaign. Heck yeah, I'll put up Fraga's campaign. So I'm gonna put up Dan Fraga's campaign. Amanda, if you have to leave, we'll we'll close out with Dan's and then we'll close Bye, out Amanda. with ours. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. Bye honey. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Uh, uh, black. Wow. I just want to say how cool was it that that you had like the guy who created the guy who broke Batman's back, and then you have the guy who killed Superman, and like this oh. is a great stream. <laughs> what a fanboy! What a fanboy you are! <laughs> you put the whole back, right? You had to just <laughs> a lot of death. Awesome. Hey, I held a lot back during this so far. Like, yeah, oh, no, I know, I know. <laughs> you, you good for you. You did good. You did good, buddy. Thanks, yeah. friend. Yeah, so real quick, uh, uh, Mr. Jurgens, to see our friend Dan Fraga, check this out. Uh, let me stop this screen. I'm going to present it. Look at this stud right here. You're out of control oh, with all of that there stud it is. business. Boom. $225,000. Uh, that's what he's talking Damn. about, though. Nice. Wow. Three, three, four, five, perception, six. bro. Three, four, five, six is what he's talking about on the backers. It's a magic number. Three, oh, I see. Yeah, three, four, five, six, oh, 456 cool. backers. backers. And brother, you know, I love that's you. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Brother, I love I got, you. I got to screenshot that. Yeah, mm. but good luck fulfilling that. I know. I could, I, I, I got to, I'm hiring family members and 
Yeah, it's uh, okay. it's gonna be a beast. Yeah, I know Jimmy's laughing. Thing. He knows too. Well, I know a lot of immigrants have left Florida, so you could probably uh, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you could probably call Come DeSantis and send the busload of them to your Come house. Come up to Georgia, guys. Like, Dude, oh, yeah. all you do is put a call the governor's <laughs> office. Yeah, call, go call, 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 call the governor of New Mexico. We'll send them over to you too, bro. There you go. Yeah. Come on, Dan. <laughs> so proud of you, buddy. Your, Thanks, man. This is your first foray, right? Into it's my party. first uh, uh, warts and all, like mistakes and all, you know. Yes. How long That's has awesome. this campaign been up for? Too long, Jimmy. <laughs> too, long. That's the, too long. I'm no paper. Do you films. do you do you cut it off at some point, or I will cut just... as soon as we start fulfilling. I'm going to give people the last gasp, and then we're going to cut okay. it. Cool, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Looks amazing. Same. Thank you. Look at that art. Amazing. Gorgeous. I'll tell you what I'm excited about. I built my banner today for conventions. I haven't had a new banner in, since 2016. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, That's awesome. there, you guys know Mark Fornays? He, yeah. uh, he, he no, does. No, a, Jimmy Fornays. Uh, yeah, Fornays with an F. Oh, right? Mark Fornars? Yeah, that's how you say his last name. Yeah, Mark. Oh, yeah, bro. So Mark he's Fernars. the one who gave me this idea. He told me we were at a uh, uh, South Carolina show, and he says, he goes, you don't leverage what you've done enough. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, you've you've directed two seasons of Ricky Gervais. You directed six years of Monster High. You storyboarded Doom Patrol, Stargirl, done stuff for MTV. Like he listed all this stuff. And he goes, you're just this guy sitting there doing drawings. And I said, yeah. He goes, you need to leverage that. So that's why I uh, I made, uh, let me see, share share screen. I made it. Yeah, share, share, bro. What's that? Share it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, here you go. I made my new banner. I made it yesterday and, and just ordered it, and we'll have it in time for Heroes. Yeah. But okay. I, uh, I NASCAR'd the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks great, that man. QR code go to your YouTube channel? Yep, exactly nice. right. Nice. Exactly right. And that way, when someone says, hey, can I get a picture, I'm going to make sure we stand by the QR code. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so the opportunity to get to the website. Well, that's really smart. You see that, Jimmy? Smart. He's putting a QR code on yep. his banner. You know what? I would, I would, I would uh, love. I would yeah. absolutely love to say I'm brilliant, but the first person I saw do that was uh, our friend Andy Smith. Andy Smith, the one he created his banner, he has, but his QR code goes to his campaign. So his core draft, you go to that, it goes right to core draft. And I know my campaign's wrapping up and, mm. you know, YouTube is the platform. So I figured something that's uh, a little more legacy, like a YouTube channel would be better than a, than a campaign that's about to close. Well, it looks great, bro. Thanks, I can't, man. I'm, I'm so looking time. forward to seeing you at Heroes Con. I know, well, man. We're going to see each other twice in two weeks. Uh, well, you're going to get... You're going to get the Gandalf version, and then you're going to get the uh, – I'm shaving on my 50th birthday, which is the day after Heroes. So – that Monday I turn 50, I get the shave. It's going to be great. See, I, so I love this frag. I love Jimmy with the, with the uh, Fu Manchu he's got going on. It looks like a I like it. biker, like, like he's going to kill somebody. <laughs> it looks like a biker's <laughs> accountant. Let's Jimmy, be real. Wait, look at oh, there we go. There it is. Hang on. Look at this guy. He doesn't look like a murderer. He looks like a murderer. Like he's like a murderous <laughs> biker. Look at that. He does. That's good. Look how cool that is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> It looks uh, like he's waiting for somebody in the streets at high noon. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Dan Jurgens, how do you think I would look with a beard? What do you think? A beard. Terrible. What do you he think? He can't grow one. <laughs> Billy cannot grow a beard. We we love you the way you are, Billy. You look like shit. He's like a bum. Sarah, tell him. You can't say you look like Debbie, you're hilarious. You say she looks like shit. Maybe I can turn into a silver fox. I it is weird when you there. guys do weird things. Like all of a sudden, when you start changing the facial hair and you give us no warning, we're just like, uh, we don't even know if we love you anymore. We're like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. is that true? I have to go find yeah. a new man. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Is your husband in the room there? Is, is your man in the room? No, there? I was just looking. I'm like, is he? Is he back? Is he wait a minute. Wait a minute. When we he, don't when know he, if we love the haircut. Well, when he comes with like the his shaved head and then it's like the beard's okay, gone. Wait, I'm like. I think that Sarah, thank you so much for saying this. Think back to the day you walked in with that itty bitty tiny mohawk. Like at the mohawk was badass. And I was like, How oh my god, I don't know. If I love you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you, you said, you, you know, we went out, we went out to dinner, and you're like looking at me in the bar. You're like, you look like a troublemaker. 
<laughs> and then we made Shovel out. Oh, yeah. That's yes. such a lie. Yes, you, you were so attractive. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, long. you passed so the 100 backers, Dan. Billy. Hey. Like the little Jimmy and my boy Dan and Dan Ooh, J. Mr. And Bruce. All. Yeah. See ya. And past Masterson, right of course, says she. she. So, look, at that, <laughs> look at that picture of Billy. Me. There he is, Lost Boys. Boys. Lost Wait, first, Boys. So, first of all, this is a year before Lost Boys. Is it? In two days, Dan Jurgen, he keeps, two days, he keeps right? saying that. He keeps saying it. Oh, he's being me. He's being me. He's been me for a day, uh, all day, well, on social media. Okay. Kaja Gugu, man. He's just he's a badass because he's. So we don't know who Postmaster is. I, I don't know if I've ever met Pastmaster. Then Pastmaster Dan is awesome. I can't wait to uh, do what I'm about to do uh, in person with that guy. What are you doing? I gotta go let the dog in. Yeah, let our dog in. Oh, we got, all right. We're, we're gonna finish up, guys. Uh, real quick, Dan. I guess this is for you here. Uh, is DC gonna give you proper royalties for the upcoming Booster Gold project? They better. We'll see. Yeah, better, yeah. <laughs> we heard that from Green Lantern. I think Ethan made like over a hundred grand from the Green Lantern movie, or one of those things. And Chuck oh. and Graham Nolan. Have yet gotten their just dues for creating Bane. What? So it's, really? yeah, it's it ain't good. The trick is to call, fun, up, folks. call those guys up. The trick is just call up the uh, get go to the main guy. We know who the main guy is, and then have them connect you with Warner Brothers because you, you can shake them down. They and Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, man. You, yep, if you don't say yep. anything, they you don't exist. Yep. Take it from a guy who calls them maybe twice a month. Oh, really? <laughs> that's right. hey, uh, oh, that's good. Good for you. Because I see yeah, everything they name. used in different shows and different movies, and I go, okay, that guy was created. I created that guy. You have to give me a check for that. And and uh, they respect they respect it. I drive them crazy, but they also respect it at the same time. But they yeah. don't sit around going, who do we give money to this month? No. They do that <laughs> yeah. conversation. Yeah. You have to call that's them true. up and complain. Yeah. And tell them when they give you the money, you go, I don't think it's enough. Yeah. You can say hey, that. I, yeah. I really don't think I'm compensated enough for this. I, th I think uh, you guys need to go back and come up with it. Everything's money. negotiable in life. I like yeah. that, Jimmy. Good yeah, for I, you. You have to. Yeah. I, I always uh, said we should get like eight guys together and launch an audit. Um, Absolutely. 100%. Now, yep. now, Dan Jurgens, is your wife coming with you to, to uh, San Diego? San Diego, no. Terrificon the week after, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Are you there? Because we're, we're, we're be there. opening that invitation oh, okay. to you, too. If you're not doing anything Thursday night, if you'd like to come us, come out with us for dinner, we get Debbie gets a back room in Roy's, and uh, it's Thursday night after the show. We're going to have a nice, nice little fun, relaxing, cool, chill, and hopefully Jeff Smith will make it this year. So we have to reel him back a little bit. Oh, okay. I, kept Jeff, I kept giving Jeff shots. <laughs> Jeff didn't make it. He did not make it. Oh, sounds yep. great. So, uh, uh, real quick. All right. So, we have a few more super chats. We're going to read it and then we're going to leave. Uh, and thank you guys. Uh, Jasper Plan 9. Um, Dan, thank you. Oh, sorry. We already did that. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Dan, right. thank you for being here. Will you talk about creating Booster Gold? Do you have any, like, for your, do you have any panels coming up for your shows or anything like that? Or do you want to give a little bit insight right now about Booster Gold? And right now, it was just me. Uh, seriously, I was like 22. And it was what I would have done if I were a superhero. If, if I could do anything, I'd say I'd make money doing that. And it was, and, and I think a lot of writers do this um, in many ways, especially our early creations, our other manifestations of ourselves and that's just kind of what that was was just me this is what i would do so that's where it came from that's true yeah and it's fun and you you, you yeah. have that yeah it's <laughs> well and it was also it, it was 1984 and dc at that time had a very really nice open door policy and they were just saying you know if you got an idea come tell us what it is and that's why at that time they were doing so many different, really wildly creative things. And I'm not necessarily putting myself in that bunch, but you saw a lot of diverse efforts coming out at that time um, that were creatively natural. I mean, that's where Dark Knight came from and Watchmen and so many other things. It was that open door policy. That's amazing. You were 22 years old when you started working for them? Yeah, or a little younger when I first started. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Holy shit. yeah. Crazy. That's incredible. Wow. To you. Well, that's here's your talent. Well, thank you. Damn. 
Well, Jimmy, oh, we got, we got another super chat again. Sean, Sean Ferris, 1776. I like that. I like that number. Yep. Shout out to uh, sh uh, Billy. Shout out Fire and Ice for Sarah. Is it available for pre-order this month? Stupid chat doesn't let me post links. I don't know why that is. I'm sorry. I don't know. He's not a wrench. Oh, we gotta give him a wrench. Blevins, can you give him a wrench? I cannot because you have not given me the power to give wrenches away. Oh, uh, I got all right. We gotta talk to all the scalawags. He's the one that does that. I will give you a wrench, and, brother. Uh, but I just and thank you, you Sean. PM with it. Awesome. Sarah, what's the deal with fire and ice, honey? Uh, so we'll have more announcements on it um, at Comic Con, uh, but it will be available August. So, and it's available to pre order now. Awesome. All right. And Buzz yeah, put his preliminary pencils for his variant on his uh, Facebook page. Mm. Buzz, Who? Buzz did. Well, here's a five dollar super chat that matches Brian Blevins' shirt perfectly. Thank you, TJ <laughs> yeah, James. But, wow. But. <laughs> if Jimmy and Amanda will be at Baltimore, we can have a huge Scotch con. That's what we've been doing, having our little Scotch cons, which yeah. have been growing real big. You drink Scotch, you got a kill, bring a kill. Bring a cigar. Oh, we, uh, yeah. we, we won't be there. We're actually, we're going to be traveling Europe for like a month, month and a half. So we're going to. Oh, nice. Gonna your life. Your life, you bastard. We're going to be you. skipping some cons yeah. in the fall. But I'll take you up. TJ, I'll take you up on that scotch thing next time we see each other for sure. Perfect. Hey, Sarah Ann, here's our pup. Hang on. Oh, here's oh what a sweet girl. She's a girl, right? What's her, what's her yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me get ready. To Thank you, TJ, for that, bro. Oh, she's a big girl too, though. Come on, come on. Yeah, she's. Oh, Theo would love her. Too. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, Good energy that one. Oh, is she fixed? Is she fixed, Billy? No, nah, we're gonna breed no, her. No, actually, yeah. contractually, she has to have one litter. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, I, I have the same thing with Theo, my my the, the handsome boy. He's, yeah, he's making, he already had eight babies recently. He's got another oh, litter God coming bless. soon. Wow. I know. Yeah, when they have good genes and good health. They want it. And especially since Shiloh's are a rare breed, there's not a yeah. lot of yeah. breeders out there. So yep. uh, if I wanted her, I had to promise I would have at least one litter. Yep. You have to let me know when that litter comes because, I will. wow. And again, that's geez. just to speak a little bit, a little bit about Shiloh's. The only thing that that could change that is her health testing. So they're very, very strict on health testing. So um, yeah. if she should not pass any of her health testing, which as we can see, that's probably not going to happen. No, yeah, but, she's, um, she's perfect. So we already passed her DM test. Uh, we have elbows, hips, and eyes still to do. Um, and she also passed her, her GS Diva heart test. Yeah, so, she's perfect. Wow, great. And so I, yeah, we make good sure hips. that, you know, there are no unhealthy puppies bred. That's right. Uh, and I answer this one? It's 200 watt series. Says, so uh, you seeing Jimmy cringing at 1776 or anything patriotic. Oh, that what? says that says more about 200 watt studio than it does about me. No, not I only did I not I cringe at it. Yeah, not only did I not cringe at it, I actually was impressed by the amount. I was like, that's so cool. Oh yeah. And Patriotic. Jimmy man. loves this country. Patriotic. Yeah. You don't. You don't know me, man. I am patriotic. Like, yeah, you, you gotta know. see. You don't got, be dissing on my yeah, friend yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, you got, yeah. bro. We gotta hang out. That's the thing. You come with. Next time we're at a show and you're there, you hang out with us. And yeah, I'm, I got my American flag right, right yeah, in the room behind me. Yeah. <laughs> 200 watts studios about to get in some fisticuffs. No, no, too much. Now I'm laughing, so Jimmy. Pass me. Jimmy's gone to go get him. He's like, I'm out of here. Now, now, yeah. <laughs> like, now, he's, just, now, he's showing he's us his American, American yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Wait, look here. It's all made up of comic paddles. Yeah, hang on, Jimmy. I will do that. Hang on. There you go. Good girl. The yeah. white stripes. Oh, are I love that. Oh, that's cool. They were all female comic characters. Awesome, Jimmy. There it you is. go. Perfect. Now you got to get it tattooed on you, so we really believe you, Jimmy. That's right. <laughs> I do have it, but I can only show certain people. Yeah. Oh, hey, Master only. Dan. Right, right now it's half masked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Never <laughs> double molded past Master Dan for shame, single malt scotch. So I'm going to revisit the game one last time and we'll let our friends go. Uh, thank you all, Dan. I'm so happy that you're coming to San Diego with Sarah Ann and Jimmy and I. Okay. Have, I'm so excited to see you guys. Is going to be there too. Friday, yeah. right? Are we coming? Coming with? Yeah. It depends if the 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 documentary people said they want me there. They got all my info and all that stuff, but I don't have a uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
it hasn't been certified yet. Mm. You know, I think so. Debbie got to rent a room for ten in the back of Roy's this time. Then <laughs> it was bigger last time. Was it? That's what she yeah. said. Thank you, Jimmy. It was oh, we had a kids. Right? Good yeah. to see you, buddy. Right. Bye, Bye, buddy. Thank you so much, Dan. Good. See you, best friend. Best friend. Nice to meet you. Nice That's all I'm saying. Thank it's you, buddy. Best friend's day today. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget. <laughs> bye, bye, pal. Good to see all you, right. my friend. So long. Take care, everyone. See you, Dan. Bye, Dan. Bye. bye. He's not leaving. This is awesome. Bye, boy. Look how uncomfortable it is. He's like, he doesn't know how to do, you got to hit. Yeah, I'm just I'll, I'll, I'll remove you, Dan. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, uh, oh. I'm out. Hey, guys, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revisit the cam campaign one more time. It's We're going on two hours, man. Uh, wow, what a two hours, honey. Holy crap. It's amazing. It's great. Oh, and I noticed that it. So, guys, thank you so much. The She Omnibus Kickstarter Edition. Sarah Ann, real quick, your grandfather. So we're going to set up, now that we've blown – over double our stretch goal, we're going to launch our next stretch goal, and that will be a dust jacket like this of this book. And if, if it's okay with you, our dust jacket, this will be the regular cover, but we're going to do a specific dust jacket just for our backers, and it will be your grandfather, Frank Frazetta's cover. We're going to do a special dust jacket uh, for all our backers. And let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. There it is. Um, and maybe so even awesome. do this cover. Yeah. Maybe even do Frank's yeah. painting. <laughs> I was, I was going to say without, without the red. I like I, that. I would yeah. do that too. Yeah, but you know, the red is what they punched up and stuff and you know, what we did. Right. But I love this, how serene it is. And again, who the hell your, your father, what your grandfather would to say. And that's I'm, what hung in our living room. Yes, not yes, that, you're right. So that that's going to be our next stretch goal, if that's okay. Um, you have the full blessing, of course. Thank My God. You. And, uh, and, and thank just, you, Sarah. Yep. And let everyone know I'm going to go big real yeah. quick because I'm going to go big or go home. <laughs> go My ass is ready to go home soon. We are home. Yes. Oh, are we? Yeah. We are. All right. <laughs> you can you go big and go home. Yeah. So right. you look great. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. You're freaking hot. Here. Look at your... So here's, here's the book. So here's our regular, here's our last, um, um, on the bus. So this book will be a beautiful companion piece to our last on the bus. Same size format. So here's a regular size comic. This is a, re a normal graphic novel. And then here is how the book is going to be. So you'll see Frank Rosetta's art in its full glory. And it will be a, a, a dust jacket that is exclusive to our Indiegogo and Kickstarter backers. Right. And once it's once campaign's done, it's gone. Right? Well, we always overprint a little, but you won't be able to get it anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. unless you call us, I guess, afterwards or no. buy us a drink or something, no. and then you get it. No. No? <laughs> oh, you can buy me a drink. I'll give you one of them. But anyway, guys, it was so – look at Jimmy. It was bright and sunny when Sarah Ann first joined us, and now look how dark it is. And she's, like, disappearing. <laughs> she's like a vampire now. It's, like, it's all, all kinds of things going on. There's dogs in the back, different lights, and <laughs> having I'm having a show of my own here. We'll have Sorry. to do, we'll have to do a dog stream one day. Yeah, we'll do a dog stream. For sure. Yeah. 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 I'll get like I'll, I'll get them seats so they can like sit just in like, you know, maybe they'll be boys well, and look how good she's Yeah, been. I think I, if I got them like comfortable yeah. chairs, like they'd sit up in the chairs with me. They're Benadryl. smart. Give them Benadryl. They're, they're too smart. Yeah, give them Benadryl. Benadryl. Hey, Benadryl. Like a, did we have torture the dogs like they used to do in Hollywood, the monkeys dogs, you know, make right. them do things for entertainment. No, <laughs> yeah. Now we have relaxed butter. Yes, we're like, and, and is, the, yeah. which is hemp, like that CBD. It's Whoa! it's hemp peanut butter. So the okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. I put a couple scoops in her food, and she chills out for a while. You no, know, she's what sixteen months old. So she's that's a life hack. Old. That's good. She's a puppy, and she's just a hundred yeah. pound puppy. I need to give Theo some some uh, hemp butter. I will hey, Theo, you want some hemp butter? Want. Yeah. Oh, that well, guys, be, that's, I, that'd be great, Debbie. We'll talk about that at San Diego. Don't forget. We'll oh, talk about I'll how to get our we'll dogs high. <laughs> okay. We'll get you, bro. Jimmy, Jimmy, we got to get these girls liquored up. Yeah. We Like, like that's going to take work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I, I want to thank you all. Look at this. We've done, in our first less than two hours, $12,488. Thank you so much to all our backers. Uh, Blev is not too shabby, 
That's pretty looks pretty good to me. Not too. Let's get it to fifty thousand. Come on. Yeah, well, <laughs> Come let's on. go. We'll strive for. Let's get to that. Yeah. Before uh, we end, can I yeah. give a shout out to what to Zero Wine, which is uh, no. who's our friend? What's her name? Whose wine is this? I don't know. You buy it. Chrissy Brinkley, who lives out here. This is her wine, and there's zero sugar added to it. Not it's the a shout cabinet. out I wanted to give. Oh, oh. add oh. sugar. So to we wine, have man. added someone to our team. <laughs> He's a part of other people's team shoes. So oh, yeah. Exclusively to us. But this is a shout out and a huge thank you to Russ Cassidy. Heck yeah. Who's helped us with our surveys and with the creation of the campaigns. As He built guys, the Kickstarter, right? Yep. He yeah. built the Kickstarter for me from our Indiegogo. So uh, thank you, Russ, if you're listening. We really, really appreciate it. Yep. Oh, that's very nice. Nice. Here. Kind of a nice person most yep. of the time. Jimmy, where are you going next? What's your shows? Uh, you know, uh, where was that one? I said South Carolina. Yeah. This weekend, and then um, Capital City Con. I guess after that. They in Michigan. No, they're going in the spring, in the fall. And then uh, San Diego. Mm hmm. And then the uh, the one that from San Diego, we're going to stay for the week, and then head up to the uh, con in uh, up in. Um, at the casino. What's that? Terrific con. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. We'll miss you, you there. Living your life like that, Jimmy. The first year we're uh, you, know, you, got, you gotta. Nobody calls you up and says, "Hey, guess what? You need to take a break and let's assign that." To I you. know. You know, yeah. so you have to yeah. kind of. You know. You gotta yeah. curate. Yeah. We like, we like to travel too. Amanda and I like to get out and travel. You know. Yeah. Have well, to. especially right. That's I mean, awesome. we live you, when you live such isolated lives because you need to be isolated yeah. to create, right? So yeah. our, even our cons are almost like, I don't know, Frag, if you feel this way too, but they're almost like va they're like working vacations because it's great to see people. I like seeing people. That's that, you know, I like, see <laughs> no, that's it. But it is work. Yeah. Yeah. It is work. Oh, it is. So Dan Frag, I'm going to see you next weekend. You're going to see me two weekends in a row. We're going to be at Heroes in Charlotte, mm -hmm. North Carolina, this yep. upcoming Father's Day weekend. And following that, we will be in Morristown, New Jersey for the uh, Garden State Comic. I love that show. I'm That's a great I'm show. Gonna be there. I can't I wait. I've been to neither of them ever. So it's a, a first. Yeah, I think I'm going to torture Howard Chaykin when I go up there. Oh, that's <laughs> easy to do. It's easy to do. Sometimes breathing the wrong way will uh, torture yeah. Howard. Nah, nah. Debbie and Howard are buddies. They, I love foodies. Howard. They what talk food about? and wine. Oh, my God. We are foodies. They're foodies. We have something to talk about oh, God, together. You guys are like we're this. both foodies. I'm happy when he's not at his show. But <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, he's a cuddly curmudgeon. So, guys, love you all. Dr. Blevins, hopefully wow. we will be able to bribe you to come to uh, North Kakalaki. Possibly, you know, uh, you know what I've been dealing with for the past uh, past little bit. I yeah, you I got some big stuff going on. I purchased a country club, so we're yeah. dealing with uh, eighteen holes of golf and. Wait, you bought a golf course at a country a, club? No, he bought yeah. a country club, bro. Yeah, I bought a country club. Can I be a member? Hundred percent. Damn. Yeah, that's awesome. Hundred percent. Went in with some of my buds and Arkansas. He got, got a great deal. It's. Uh, I will come yeah, talk. 18. I want to 18, be the Bill Murray groundskeeper. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, so, well, we that's already have a, we already have a great superintendent as it is, but uh, I'm working on I'm working on something else, which uh, which I, I definitely have reached out to you, Jimmy. I know you've been busy and stuff. I don't know if you've uh, seen, but I I have something that I definitely need your help with, and I think it's going to be incredible. Kind of, kind of skew. Billy already knows what it is, but I can't talk about it yet because we don't yeah, know what yeah, exactly I, is happening. But I'm, is I'm really excited. Dan kind? knows too what it is, but no, it's bigger yeah. than it. It's good, good stuff, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, pretty I, incredible. I and I'm, I'm, I'm super that. excited about it. Yeah, cool. Congratulations. It's yeah. a, it's a yeah, congrats. That's awesome project. So yeah, we're all proud of you, buddy. What you do, hey, Sarah cool. Ann. Um, Thank you. What, what, okay, so we'll see you, San Diego. Any other San Diego and and New York Comic Con. Oh, San Diego and New York. Yep. Perfect. We should grab dinner. So definitely, we'll guys. grab dinner with you guys both. both Thursday. Uh, what time do you guys go on Thursday? Late, later. Where uh, I gotta check my flight. What time I get in on San San, San Diego? Oh, we get there on Tuesday. Yeah, but well, dinner's what we time, with Jimmy? Dinner was like seven thirty, eight o'clock, right? It's not early. Is that New York? Yeah, no, it's San Diego. Oh, it's like for, for the. Oh yeah, it's usually after this. We just go. Yeah, when it's we like go, eight o'clock you know, or something. Yeah. Okay. The, All right. Yeah, but a panel's like. 
five thirty. So that's it's only what I'm six saying. thirty. And then oh, our panels at five thirty this time. Last time it was at like seven or seven. No, nah, it's like five thirty to seven. We'll figure it out. Nobody has to hear. This. All right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, All right, guys. We'll guys. Thank anyway, you, Billy. Love you guys. Um, Billy, Debbie, congratulations. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I don't want to cut you off. Oh, I said, I said, I said, congratulations to both of you. Thanks. Really, yes, this is great. And a quick shout out. I have noticed you, Randy Howell, who's been keeping tab of the combination of our Indiegogo and Kickstarter campaign. Yes. So oh, thank awesome. you, Randy. Yeah, Pastor Pastor Dan that. as well. He said we're yep. over seventy-two thousand right now. Oh, that's so thank fantastic. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. And um, Sarah, seriously, let's talk. Because you'll see Brian Polito, when we go to dinner, you go to gin dinner with Jimmy and Amanda, Debbie and I, Brian Polito, Jeff Smith. Uh, we'll, well, I'm talking about people that can contribute to the conversation. That uh, we'll talk <laughs> to you about crowdfunding, and you will love it. Awesome. And we yeah, love no, Canada. I'm excited. Joe doesn't know crowdfunding. I already texted Joe and told him what we're doing. I said, we're, we're, we, we, we have... We have it all lining up, so well, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk in we'll talk, talk in a private setting, with you guys. And debt dealer is tailor made for that, wouldn't you say, Fraga? Oh yeah. For an Indiegogo kick, tailor made. Good. There's so the much that can slam. be done with Frazetta. Yeah, yep. wait till yeah. I tell. I'm gonna. I, I I can't wait to talk to you guys, Jimmy. I'll tell you yeah, there's, something. Yeah, there's definitely right. You can get really creative. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Hell yeah! There's so much that can be done. So yeah. much. It's endless. Yeah. You just got to be like you guys said. You got to be quiet and go into your solitude and then create and figure it out. Yeah. Um, so that's that's. All right, guys. Well, thank well, you thank again. You. Thanks for yeah, having thank me in the guys. celebration. Love you guys. Awesome. Everybody in the chat, you guys rock. We had a great thank night. Thank you so much. Holy crap! I don't have to say, thank man. To all Almost, of our Kickstarter yeah. banker backers. Back. Thank you. Yeah. Almost thirteen grand in two hours. You guys are incredible. I, it's going to be a fun, tw it's a short campaign, 28 days. And uh, this book will be at the printer by the time this campaign ends. Before it ends. Before it ends, yeah. Yeah, awesome. so before it ends. So love you guys. I'm going to little put a little uh, brand out there to send us out. Say goodbye. And uh, okay. we will see you guys soon, all right? So uh, was my videos. Bye, Scala. everybody. Scala's got so much. All right, bye, guys. Bye-bye, yeah. yeah. guys. Hang on, let Smoke me do the weed. answer. Here we go. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.